Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu wa Ibrahimu nataka nikushukuru tena niseme ni asante. Mwenyezi Mungu tumeleta Mama Janet katika ibada hii ambayo itaongozwa na Papa Askofu na sisi tunamkabidhi mkononi mwako. Aswa sana nataka kuombea parish yetu pamoja na hiyo kanisa ya endokea kupoteza Mkristo wacho usimame pamoja nao. Mwenyezi Mungu tukiona utukufu na neema yako Mungu utasema ni asante. Vizuizi vya shetani ambavyo vinaweza kuleta kiza na mambo yasiyofaa katika jina la Yesu upate kuharibu. Tukianza ibada mali hapa pia pinguno zitu kuifungua. Wacha tuanze nawe tena tumalize nawe. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mkombo. Nitamwalika mzee Barnabas wa Fula ambaye sasa ndiyo kiongozi ndiye baba yetu. Huko Malanga. Aje aongee kuhusu marehemu ambaye ni shemeji yake. Karibu mzee Barnabas. Alafu tujitarishe mama Florence uwe tayari pia utakuwa kwa orodha ya wale ambao wataongea kuwa tayari alafu tutapata mmoja mume nyamulala ulanga mama Janet mbumama msa, musiani kula nyolo mukha na mulala mute mlomalome kumama asanteni ba wale ambao makuja maombelezi ya usemeji wangu Janet mimi mnasimama hapa niongee kwa maneno juu yake jinsi tumeishi jinsi tulianza mpaka wa leo ameaga dunia kutuacha Janet mimi namshukuru sana tangu anakuja kwa boma hili la Bamenya hatuwahi kukosana ama kusema mengi mimi namshukuru sana hata ningejua mimi mwenyewe ningeomba Mwenyezi Mungu kama anaweza ataniwajie Janet si mtu alikuwa mubaya si mtu alikuwa mchokozi si mtu alikuwa wa vitina Mungu baba umlinde vyema kwa hayo yote mimi nasema ninamshukuru kwa njia nyingi ambayo alikuwa anatutendea Janet alifanya mimi nikaingia hapa ningaa kama mimi ni maumivu mingi lakini nilisema hata ikiwa nini siwezi kuchelewa kukwenda kusindikiza Janet Janet huyu nilianza kumjua kitambo sana nakata alikuwa kwa harusi yake ilifanyika mnaami Janet mimi sije nitasema nini ni wache nini Janet mimi namshukuru sana kwa mengi ambayo anatenda Janet si mtu wa kuwa vitina Janet si mtu wa kuongelea kwa wenzi yake kichini chini. Mungu mwenyewe anajua jizi atatendea Janet. Janet tunamuomba Mungu amweke mahali pema kwa mengi ambayo ametenda hapa duniani. Na sisi vile vile aende atulinde atuombe hiyo ni njia ya watu yote. Kitu ya mwisho na mshukuru ni muomba halinde watoto wake vyema awalinde sana na wafikirie hiyo ni njia ya watu yote seta wacho sana mengi kwa majina mimi naitwa Barnabo wa Fula wasinyedo muziki <coughs> wa malanga hapa asanteni asante mzero uh, bana bas bwana sifiwe bwana sifiwe tena Emirembe ka Janet. Mukhese Mirembe ka Janet. Janet alikuwa mpenzi wangu kabisa. 
Janet ni mtoto ananifata kule nyumbani kwa bamenya. Pali yoyote matanga ilikuwa tulikuwa tunalala na Janet kwa baridi. Sasa saa hii nitakuwa aje. Janet amenuacha tu peke kule malanga. Naomba tu watoto semeji wangu Rogers tukuwe in peace. Kwa hayo yote sitamchokesa kwa mengi. Kwa majina ni Florence Asante. Wa Kristo na ombolezaji wote ambao wamekuja kuomboleza mama yetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. A mimi nimesimama hapa kama msichana wa mama Janet wa kutoka Malanga. Mimi nimejua mama Janet kama mama Jen. Sijawahi kujua jina lingine. Na huko Malanga tunajua kila mmoja wetu ni mama. Hata ninapoongea saa hii naongea ni mama na amekufa. Marafiki zangu wananiuliza ni mama wa kukuza. No, but she's my mother. Nimejua Janet kama mama wa upendo. Nimejua Janet kama mama ambaye amekuwa uh, kiungo kati ya Sikinga na Malanga. Hakuna siku Janet amekosa kuja Malanga hata kama alikuwa anaishi huko mbali. Na hata wa mwezi wa nane nimekuwa na mama Janet kwa sherehe. Na siku anajua alikuwa amelemewa hivyo na ugonjwa. Wakati nilipata jambo kwamba Janet amepotea. Nilisema ninajua Janet wawili, Jenny wawili. Na nikasema I hope it's none of them. The two Janets I know. But when I saw the photo that had been posted on uh, WhatsApp, it was her photograph. I couldn't just believe mama had gone. We are very sorry as our menya, namenyas from Malanga. We are sorry. We have lost a gem. We have lost a valuable person. We have lost a person. Ambaye hatujai kusikia mekosana na mtu. Sijai sikia mama mekosana na mtu. Sijai sikia hata mesema jambo mbaya. Kwa watoto wa mama Janet, tunawaombea. Tuko pamoja na nyinyi, tutasimama na nyinyi. Mungu awapatie nguvu na wafariji. Poleni sana watu wa sikinga kwa kukopoteza mama ambaye alikuwa muhimu sana. Changazi kuna Musiba kwa mwaka na fujene tinda kamuka sema mirembe mwez. Esa sadi ni mangu tawe. Abu la nakupi la nyasa ya uria kaya kuhere. Abu la fujene tii ya berenga mama ya berenga papa ya berenga omusa tuanda tehera. Budi sindo. Nda kare mero nda kupi la fujene tii si mu nenda le pik piki ni ingira mungu. Ma ne sivera. O kula mukufa le kula mukundi se kula mukumba na baje bosi ba kasa mera fujene tii. Kupi la mnyasa ya nyasa ya rio. Ya kaya nyumba kwa kufana kwa kufana ndi ni Janet. Mbula mangi tabu la Musa Bila Nyasamu. Ndabela mwebo yoroko lakini mbule hulide. Musa Bila Nyasamu hila alai. Mbule mbule hila ni bitu zima kwa kanda hao nibuwe. Sawa. Sasa ebu kitoko tu. Kitoko. Naomba tu. Bwana MC. Umeniambia matanga ni yetu na mimi ndiyo mwenye boma na niko kwa flow. So if you start harassing me, I don't know how you can harass me in my home. Tuko, chairman wetu, wasuluwe malanga chapter. Ako hapa, ntampa nafasi ya onge. Kwa hivyo, one word, suluwe malanga chapter. One word. Asante, majina yangu, Henry Baraza Ondunyu. Mwenye kiti wa nyumba ya malanga. Tunawuzuni kwa ajili ya mama. Mama amekuwa mtu mzuri, mpendwa. Wakati tumekuwa na matanga, amekuja akiwa na familia yake. Kwa hiyo tumepoteza na hata kanisa imepoteza na watu wote tumepoteza. Asante. Amjambo wote wa mbolezi wenzangu. 
kwa majina anaitwa Vincent Wafula sina mengi ya kusema ila tu kuomba Mungu alaze mama mali pema peponi asante ni sana nampa huyu na sababu bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena mimi nikisimama mali hapa nazidi kumrudishia Mwenyezi Mungu shukrani kuifanya hii siku kuwa jinsi ilivyo mimi nikisimama hapa nikiongea kwa mama Jen mama Jen alikuwa mama mzuri mama wa advice tumepoteza mtu wa maana sitaongea mengi wacha Mungu akamweke mali pema kwa majina naitwa Jesinta Chen God is good and all the time Ah uh, kwa majina naitwa Joyce Ojambo Esendi mwiwa Made mwenye amelala amekuwa kama mamangu wa kuniza katika familia yetu amekuwa mama msaada Efobu kocha nuko evunie kama mama Jane Tunajua mama wetu wako mama Nevere pia yako lakini huyu mama amekuwa mwepesi sana kutufikia kule Samia Mala kama mama ya, ya horere nyasa amedo kuikulengira chai na alaze roho yake mahali pala amemtengea na mbarikiwe sana. Asante. Okay, asante. 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 Sasa aba langa Janet mama bakhaye befwe buhe muhesie. Bakhaye befwe. Eh, hey, awe ndio bakhana ba Janet. Mimi kwa kuzaliwa sasa kwa uko mimi ni kijana wa Janet na ungama na yale ambao wanenaji wamesema especially Emily amemuita Ajam jiwe la tamani kubwa very valuable full of advice wasia mzuri mtu wa kukaribisha amewakuza watu wengi kwa boma lake kuishi na watu wa uko ka kuja tuishi wale wanataka kusoma wale pengine wako na vulnerability Janet ameishi nao na akawakuza she has touched so many people's hearts and lives e, niliposikia kifo chake hata mimi nilimkuamia lakini leo nataka kumwachilia Aende salama salmini mpaka siku ile tutakutana pahali Mungu ametupangia. Orio orio mnome nya orio mwalimu. Ah uh, familia ya ndugu Rogers abame nya bosi kanisa na wapendwa wote kwa tabaka mbalimbali na wasalimie bwana asifiwe. Mwekhe zero ituli no mwami yesome we. Bwana asifiwe basi mmesikia wakiita babu Deru lakini babu Deru watakuwa plus kabla sijasema jina langu na chochote huyu Janet alitufunza utaratibu na sisi ni wa utaratibu tutachukua muda mfupi kwa utaratibu na tumalize basi nataka ndugu Jonathan Kwendo aje karibu hapa mama Elizabeth aje na ndugu Rogers na menya waje hapa hao Ninaitwa Julius Elizabeth Ekesa. Bwana Yesu ni mwokozi wangu. Nashukuru kwanza kwa kuwa na nafasi ya kusema nanyi siku hii ya kusindikiza dada Janet. Kwa sababu huyu Janet nikisema namjua vizuri nasema ukweli kabisa. Mimi nikiwa mwalimu wa mkuu wa shule hii nilipata Rogers kama mwanafunzi wangu tukapatana tukawa marafiki na wakati wa kuoa akiwa ndugu katika Yesu mimi niliambatana na wale walienda kuleta msichana huyu Janet kutoka huko Samia. Wa Samia wanajua mimi nilimleta. Nili Kwa hivyo tangu hapo nikamjua vizuri sana naweza kusema mengi sana juu ya huyu dada ambaye amelala. Na kabla sijasema ningependa ndugu Jonathan uh, kwanza wale ambao ni wa Sikinga kokai kwa watawa mtiri bonge neta Rogers na Janet wamekaa katika jamii ya Sikinga aba mtiri plus ukijua we ni wa jamii hii ya Sikinga tafadhali simama mahali ulipo just stand wa jamii hii
na tukifanya hivyo tunapeana heshima kwa dada anayelala tuko wengi 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 bwana asifiwe sana kuna wale na, e, dada anaita e, wajukuu kuna wale dada anaita watoto wake kuna wale kwa hivyo tumeteua tu wale wachache ambao watasema na ningesema ningetaka tafadhali sisi ambayo tutasema na mimi ndi baba yenu wale ambao nimetaja kusema ndio watasema kwa ufupi ili tuheshimu kanisa bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena kwanza nataka kuambia hapa tuko hebu mtiru na hebu mtiru mimi naitwa namenya nilitoka malanga nikaoleka hebu mtiru na rogers akaona kuja kulie huku sasa huku hebu mtiru ndio ililea jo rogers mkae mkijua hivyo jana eti ni msichana ambaye amekaa na rogers na tulimheshimu Waokofu wote mimi nikiwa mmoja kwa wale ambao ni waokofu tabia ya huyu msichana tabia yake kama muokofu hata saa nyingine ndiye imemletea depression ikamuua ni msichana ambaye alikuwa ananyamasa na maneno yake hata ikimuua ananyamasa nayo na alikuwa msichana mimi nimeheshimu kwa sababu ya tabia yake niko na mengi ningesema lakini kwa sababu ya tabia na I mean the time naambia si same mengi lakini mjue ya kwamba malanga na menya alitoka malanga alioleke bumtiru na bumtiru ndiye wamelea Rogers asante thank you very much asante mwalimu sasa na menya mwingine ndi huyu kwa ufupi kanisa takatifu waombolezaji wote hamjambo bwana asifiwe mi nataka kusema mambo machache juu ya madam Janet. Janet alipokuwa ameanza kuchumbiana na Rogers, mi nilikuwa naishi na Rogers. Na Rogers alipenda Janet kupenda ya ajabu. Janet alipenda Rogers kupenda ya ajabu. Rogers aliangeandika barua ananiambia ushukie barongeche, upeleke barua hii kwa boma. Janet anapoona tu barua ana smile. Anasema eh Nina sar renende nende pass a very good handwriting a very organized handwriting na Janet akapenda Rogers wakati anakuja huko Busia mahali Rogers anaishi they never shared a bedroom tunalala na yeye huko Rogers analala na yeye huko na mambo inaendelea siku ya harusi mna tarehe 15 December 1979 Janet alikuwa ananiangalia na ana smile sababu alikuwa amenijua mimi vizuri wakati walimaliza kwenda kupiga picha John Studio Rogers akasema sasa we ni mfupi tutatosha naje akasema mlete kitu hapo muwafunike net tufanye nini tutoshane Janet has gone with the smile she was born with God rest her soul in eternal peace Asante Janet alikuwa na wajukuu wengi na kwa niaba ya wajukuu huyu mmoja aseme eh, habari zenu kwa majina mimi naitwa James Ben Mwanga eh, Janet was not only a grandmother she was a friend she was a consultant Janet was what we will call an all purpose person in life I happen to have been uh, one of the last people In August I had my in-laws visiting me. Janet was the hostess who was hosting all those people. And uh, I will say that uh, she was not only a grandmother but somebody you will count on in so many occasions. We've lost one of the jewels of the society that we had in this life. On behalf of all the grand children I mean there are so many of them they would have liked to be here and everybody give an accord wakati tulienda kwake tulikula mayai Janet ule alikuwa ule mama ambaye ungeenda kwake unajifanya unafanywa mgeni you are not just a grandmother or grand child but a visitor so it has happened I was one of the last beneficiaries of Janet's good generosity and everything. 
na kwa niaba ya wale wote wameniambia tusiongee sana kwa sababu ya wakati Mungu ailaze roho yake mali pema peponi. Orio, papa, orio. <laughs> Basi nataka kuambia ya kwamba Janet alipendwa na wajukuu na watu wasikinga na babudiru na kila mtu. Na yule ambaye ana macho ameona wanampenda. Mama die huyu basi kanisa takatifu waliofia wote na wageni wote ambao wamekubali kuja kutuunga mkono bwana asifiwe kwa majina ni Elizabeth Kesa saidi yote nimeokoka sijui nitasema nini kwa mpendo wangu Janet nataka kushukuru ndugu Rogers ambaye Mungu alisikia maombi yake na akamchagulia ubafu wako wa maana dada amekuwa all round uwezi kujua Janet amesoma Uwezi ukamlinganisha na wale wasichana ambao wamesoma ni walimu. Yaani ndivyo vile Roger alimleta hapa alikuwa tu kama a local woman kama mimi. Ana alikuwa anaingia kwa kila pahali. Na Saidi Ayod sisi na yeye tulipendana sana. Kwa sababu Roger alikuwa anakaa hapa kwa Samson ndio mimi nakaa huko pia. Vile aliingia tukashikana. Nyumba yangu ilikuwa yake na yake ilikuwa yangu. Hata watoto wake sisi ndio tumewadhamini wao. Kwa hivyo sijui nitasema nini kwa Janet lakini vile tunazikea kwamba kila ambacho kimefungulia duniani hapa mbinguni ndio tutafunguliwa Janet ameenda ni ndivyo hole vya hivyo sivila hii ya berengo all round mu nyumba ya berengo sanga imomoria budo mundu ya ngirenge everywhere hata sisi sisi ni ndo hata sababu watu wote tubaduko hata isa ni mahalolanga kwa hivyo namfalisha huwa for that Janet amekuwa mtu wa upendo ni zaidi ya yote amependa kanisa amekuwa Mothers Union Spaf tukua na kazi wa mama wa Mothers Union kama wageni wanakuja hapa tunakimbilia kwake na anatoa kila kitu kwa Mothers Union kwa hivyo tunamfalisha huwa for that wale ambao wamekuja msitu kuombea familia ya Rogers na Jane pia tupateke mtu kama huyo bwana asifiwe nadhani mnaweza kutupigia makofi sababu tumekeep within our time <laughs> Nataka kusema ya kwamba hata wale walisimamia ndugu Rogers na Janet wakati wa harusi wako hapa na mtawaona wakati wao ukifika. Kanisa na wale ambao wamefewa nikiwemo na wale wote ambao wamekuja kutusaidia kuombolesa. Nasema Bwana azifiwe. Bwana azifiwe tena. Kwa ajili ya Janet na uokofu wake Bwana azifiwe. Kwa amani yake na bila amesifiwa out being an outstanding woman Bwana azifiwe. Ah, nisiro ko lo maluma. Nyo kusingisia wasicheche bosi ibali. Matungu chapter Melebushia chapter ne bali mo khula samia musingireho nomba ni munyalo kuicha mwiche aya singiresa okay mutio ah nyenyo kumanyani kalimbuchea manu wa matungu chapter yechere mwa ramadan manya amekuja Amekuja? Ako ngiani? Okay. Sisi tumeungana abashiteke tuko na busia chapter ambayo inashika butula sub county mpaka Uganda na tuko na matungu chapter ambaye tunashikana nao tunashirikiana kwa mikutano yetu hata hapa wale ambao wametoka matungu chapter wasimameko tuone aya asanti wale wa bishia walisimama sasa ni nange family family bench kwa sababu mmoja
I can say family that you can't do more than Janet Pamel. I bet the boss who ya bira umko komulai koko mungangam koko na mulungu. The habari si amrembe mwez. Omwami yes it's all mwe. Kuribangi lakini doctor abora kubeba mbichiri sana. Kurenda tiguru picha uhane. Kurenda basa mwana. Kurenda basi andu babwe, kurenda basi nge tsana, kurenda banyi na mwana. Zahambo oloho nga musiano wa Janet. <coughs> Janet. Kwa chendu ralala, kwa huru ralala, kwa somi ralala. Janet. Kwa kana ndi samana Richard nukuri. Na mai ndi kutiro msangirani wa baraga. Kuno kumanya Rogers. Kwa kana kwa kubira kwa risiriva kutire conversion. Kwa kudaru kwa rima wabu reverend Jota Mwere. Nibati rohuru kwa siya nda fiu. Roja sako nyanga Janet. Kwa fukira. Arus neso wako wa Janet. Wacha munami neso wache nda bahana. Barabandu wa munde munde sikinga mumanyi renda habeta anga kwa Janet. Ninyoko bwala Janet. Numkane fwa kwa jamandu wako wako siya sana. Niola ingera, yolanga buri avundu. Nukwa laka nenda Janet, nga huoniwe mwanev. No shortcut, you must wed. Nawe dambo la Robert, you must wed. Nyanga anga arusi aboro mkhae wange mbo manyanga urukabulendo mwanev. Mani akipa rilake rukulanga fuiri. Rogers, da hawolambo oriomu no kumenyende mkoko wefwe. Sikiraba bolambo siri omu nyumbo manyere no mkasi mwene tala. Kaba habi ramo kosi nyasaya niyo manyiri. Nda habo lari kuwa lala. Bo mwanefu. Kula tuwa o five. Ya haba hu problem. Na chaka kuba mujani. Bwana yesa sifiwe. Amera ni venerable Robert Peter Fuaya. Nda hu nivwa. Asante. Bwana sifiwe. Eh, ndugu ya Janet tena ula liye soma nae Tena ula liye sifu yesu na ye Sasa hawa ni wa ndugu wa zake Mutakuwa kwa wafupi kidogo Ndiyo tuyipe Kanisa Hale ya mekuja kusaidia kusindikiza dada yetu Janet Hamjambo Kwa majina mi na yetu wa Edwin Sigunga Nikiwa nimewakilisha wa seche wa samia, nimewaleta wa sindikize dada etu. Dada etu bile mmesikia alikuwa ni mpendwa kabisa, alikuwa mependa wa kila mtu, alikuwa habagui. Ndiyo tungefika hapa kwa wingi lakini kwa vile huku nimbali tumekuja tu basi moja. Na tusidi kusaidiana, tumuombe mungu, amweke mahali pema peponi. Ni asante. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe ten. Kwa majina muite William Uwere kutoka Matungu. Sub county. Na ningependa kusema hivi. Huyu bwibo Janet ni mtu amesaliwa kwa familia kubwa vile mmesikia ndugu yangu akisema Matungu chapter na Busia chapter. Kwa hivyo Wengine bado wako kwa njia. Jenta huyu alikuwa anaitwa Wibo Diakas 77. Ha Jenta hangependa kusema mambo mengi. Jenta hata akifika kwao hapa Koyonzo mahali amesaliwa. Janta alikuwa ni mtu wa kila ni rafiki wa kila mtu. Kwa hivyo tumekosea tumeko Tumekosa dada yetu ambaye alikuwa najua kulinda watu. Kwa hivyo sina mengi ya kusema. Kama chairman ni wetu wa matungu atafika sijui mitampatia nyafazi na fadhali. Uh, uh, sasa nataka kuita watoto. Ningesema tu 
Hao wote wenye wako na mimi kuita Janet Shangazi. Pengine tuinue tu mkono. Asanteni. Ningependa kama Anderson Mabangu angekuwa angesema jambo kwa sababu alifanya kazi ya Janet ya kanisa ikawa nzuri sana. Anderson yuko kweli? Kama yuko nitasema kwa niaba yake yuko? Ah ah. Bibi yake hakufanya kazi. Ah kama hayuko nitasema kwa niaba yake kwamba tunashukuru wa Kristo wa kanisa la Endokia kushirikiana kushiriki na Janet kwa kazi nzuri ya Mungu tunataka kuahidi kwamba sisi kama watoto wa Janet ambao wanaita Janet anti tutakaa pamoja na nyinyi wakati wote ambao mtatuhitaji la mwisho nataka kusema kwamba Janet amekuwa mkuzi mzuri sana amefanya kazi ya maendeleo zaidi kwa niaba ya hawa wote nataka kushukuru kazi yake kando na kazi ya kanisa kuishi kwake na watu kuokoa kwake ndoa ya watu ingawa yake ilikuwa shida lakini ameokoa ndoa nyingi sana na nataka tu kusema sisi zote tusema asanti mwisho mwisho sitawaacha kushukuru wakati wa kwanza kabla shetani anajaingia katika hiyo ndoa nataka kushukuru Rogers mahali yuko kwa sababu kuna mengi alitutendea nyumbani nikiwa mtoto mdogo sana Rogers anko uko wapi tafadhali simama watu wa kuone kuna wale watu wanaweza kosa kujua lakini palipo bibi mzuri lazima kuna mwanamume mzuri shetani anaweza ingia nataka kutaja maneno mawili alikuja kwa matanga ya nyumbani nikiwa mtoto mdogo hivi hakujali kujua ni nyumba gani hakujali kujua ni wapi popote alikuja na akachangia pia nataka kushukuru kwa sababu wakati nilienda hapo nyumbani nikaangalia nyumba yake nikaona wakati hata nilitafutia mimi nilita, mwanasiasa nilitafutia tuo makura hakukuwa na nyumba kama hiyo but 20 years back before Toma alisimama kiti cha ubunge Rogers alikuwa na mawazo kama hiyo nasema shetani tu ndiye anaweza haribu lakini heko kwa Rogers ulianzisha familia vizuri sana ndio kwa sababu Janet na ameshikilia na akamaliza kazi yake kwa wema yote Janet alikuwa ni mtu wa amani a very peaceful lady kutoka huko kama msenge chana wai singependa tuongee maneno ambayo yataharibu amani hia tutafanya msamaa kwa sababu hata padri mupende musipende mtatusomea maneno ya msama na sisi tunataka kufanya msama ili tufungue shangazi yangu aende mahali pema alipangiwa na Mungu Bwana asifiwe kwa hayo yote nimemaliza uneni wangu Asante sana mzee Mzee kabisa Wageni wetu wenye wamekuja kusindikisa semeji na msalimu katika jina la Bwana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Kama sijaongea wacha mwenzangu asalamie tu. Sa, asante asante. 
Nataka kushukuru Mungu kwa siku ya leo tulikuwa tunaiombea na Mungu amesikia maombi yetu. E, semeji Janet siku tumezoea semeji Jen. Alikuwa mtu wa upendo. Upendo, amani na umoja. Na alikuwa amependa watu karibisha wageni. Ni wakati tuko na matanga hawa ruzi lazima atajaribu afikishe mkono yake. Si atafika hapo lakini afikishe mkono yake. Semeji. Mungu akulinde. Nataka kushukuru Baba Rogers. Baba Rogers kwa ananiita tu na kufiala. Na Baba Rogers nataka kuambia wakati wa saa hii semeja ameenda na amekuachia watoto amekuachia wajukuu hata amekuachia sisi kuteresa si kuanguka ni kukaa chini alafu fikirie ma, mahali ulienda kombo tuanze kutengeneza kama Mungu ajatuita sisi mlamwa jen rest in peace semeji jen Mungu akulinde. Semeji Jen, Mungu akubariki. Semeji Jen, lala salama. Mbarikiwe na hayo. Litaita wa mama ambao wamezaa Jen. Kanisa, wageni wote na msalimu katika jina la Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina nilikisto jambo nimempenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Huyu Janet ni mtoto wangu mimi ndio mama yake mdogo. Lakini alikuwa amenichukua kama mama yake. Janet tangu niishi na yeye. Hata Janet atajaniongelesha vibaya. Janet alikuwa rafiki yangu wa karibu. Kiti ya muhimu Janet alinifanyia. Akachukua mtoto wangu kila sina asari. Paka form 1. Hiyo ni kazi ya Janet alifanya. Ya upendo. Kama una upendo usifanye hivyo. Ni hayo tu mbarikiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hakika niko na uzuni. Mimi nikija katika boma la kina Jenny nikija kuoleka. Nilipata kama ako kila 7. Nimekaa na Jen. Jen alikuwa rafiki yangu. Hata watu walikuwa wanaulizana ya kwamba huyu ni mama na huyu ni msichana. Wanakaanga wakifanya nini? Bwana asifiwe sana. Jen alipokuja kuoleka, siku yenye Jen alikuja, nilishindwa hata kukula, nilienda nyumbani nikamaliza siku tatu bila kukula, nikiwa nawaza nilikuwa nafikiria Jen amekufa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mtoto wangu huyu alikuwa mtoto wa maana. Mtoto mpendwa. Tangia nipate jeni katika hilo boma mpaka jeni aoleke mpaka dakika hii. Sijawahi ona hakuna siku yenye jeni alitusiana na mtu yoyote. Hakuna siku yenye jeni alikuwa hata na hasira. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hakika niko na uzuni mwingi, niko na uzuni kabisa. Mungu ailaze moyo wa jeni mahali pema. Ni hayo tu kwa majina ni Joyce Ojambo. Uh, nataka kuita wale waliosaliwa na Janet kwa nyumba moja. Janet ndio mkubwa kwa nyumba yao. Huyu ndiye anafuata huyu. Na wa... sema tu jambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe mwekeo. Mimi kama jina naitwa Margaret Atieno. Ngisema Jen alikuwa kama mama yangu. Akati ni baba wa watoto wangu alikufa. Jen alichukua hiyo msigo yote. Nilimpigia simu saa mbili ya usiku. Nikamuuliza, "Jen, niko na Matanga semeji yako amekufa. Akaniambia, 
Oh, uko na mpango gani? Akaniambia, nikamwambia sina kitu yoyote. Akaniuliza, umwambia kwa James ndio wako kama baba yangu. Huyu mwenye anaongea mwenye wako hapa huyu. Nikamwambia yeye sijamwambia, akaniambia mpigie kwa simu. Yeye atafanya nini? Ataniambia mpango sasa yako. Ya pili kama Malisa akaniambia na uko na nguo mwenye utavaa nikamwambia sina hapo niko nyumbani huko ujaluoni akaniambia tafuta tafuta fundi hapo akupime alafu nipimie nipigie simu nikampigia simu tukaenda kwa kwa, kwa fundi Alafu, akaniambia kama unaenda kwa fundi mwambie kufika kwa fundi unipigie simu kweli mtoto wetu alifanya hiyo sasa hiyo Mungu awabariki hiyo tu ndio niko na mubarikiwe oriyo mno bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe tena Eh, mimi ninamshukuru Mungu ni kwa ajili ya siku ya leo. Ni kwa sababu Mungu ndiye aliyeipanga. Jeni amekuwa msichana mrembo na msichana mzuri sana. Tumeishi kwa kupendana na kwa kushirikiana. Jen hakupagua. Jen alitupenda. Kwanza mimi Jen alinilea Jeni alipooleka tu hivi alinichukua nikaishi kwake. Nilitoka kwa Jeni hata mimi nikienda kwa nyumba. Amenilea amekuwa mama yangu. Jeni yeye amekuwa mlezi wa watoto wangu. Msichana mwaminifu, msichana wa upendo, amekuwa mentor kwetu sisi. Wakati Mm. Wakati aligonjeka alianza na kugonjeka corona nikasikia nikasema wa kupiga simu akaniambia na usikuje kweli si kuenda Bungoma nikakaa Alipotoka Bungoma nilienda nyumbani na nikatoka huko nikaenda kumuona na nikarudi kwangu kuanzia hapo Jen alianza kusumbukana na magonjwa. Hakuwahi kusikia vizuri. Kila mara ukipiga simu, ai sisi ki vizuri. Nikasema wa, hii itakuwaje. Wakati imefika sasa imesidi. Nikamwambia Jen, sasa tuachie tu Mungu kazi yake. Aya. Na ninamfungua sana. Juni limpenda na sikutarajia yaliyotokea. Lakini imefika wakati lazima nimwachilie kwa sababu Mungu alimpenda sana kuliko sisi. Wacha aende salama na Mungu tu ambariki. Na mbarikiwe. Uh, nafikiri wale ambao wamebaki tuingie kwa wale ambao wame wamesema wame lakini Shedrack kuja kanisa wanakwaya na waombolesi wote ambao mmekuja na marafiki Bwana Yesu asifiwe asifiwe tena naona mpunge mtoto mkono wa jeni nione kama mnapenda jeni Pungu une mkono msalimieni upendo wa jeni mimi nikisimama hapa na shukuru huyu jeni huyu Janet ni mpendwa tulisoma na Janet Primary School tulisoma na Janet atukupigana atukukosana tulikuwa tunapendana sana mimi sijaona rafiki kama Janet Janet ni rafiki mwaminifu 
Wengi wa watu ni chenga na unga, chenga, chenga, unga, unga. Janet ni mood straight forward. Nilipenda Janet kwa sababu ya transparency. Hagombani, hasengenyi, anapenda watu. Nimekuja kujua Janet kama mshauri wangu. Nimependa Janet kama mpendo wa wangu, kama my prayer partner. Janet, nita kumis. Ninataka kuombea watoto wa Janet. Janet ameanza kasi ya mungu. Ameendelea kufanyia mungu kasi. Ninawaomba, mushikilie mahali Janet amewachia. Ninawaomba, mushikilie mahali mama enu amewacha. Janet, enda na amani. Janet, rest in peace. Tukutenderesa, tukutenderesa, yeah, yes, yesu, yendi, yesu, omsai, wanazisa, wasa, yesu umlokosi. Kwa majina na itwa Jennifer, yesu ni mwokosi wangu, Janet ni mupendwa, nitakumisi. Kama semeji yangu. Asante. <laughs> Uyo ndia lipokea upendo ya Janet. Wakati tulifanya arusi, Janet alichangia sana. Na ndio, ndio vile mmese, mmeona kama naongea hivyo. Sasa mimi mwenyewe sina maneno mengi. Kwa maana mambo ya sifa ya Janet amesifiwa na vamenya avamenya ambao walimtambua na yeye akawatambua wakawa jamii moja na tena namshukuru sana kwa maana mumefanya mambo makubwa kwa mazishi ya Janet asanteni ah avamutiru avakusi arojas Mungu mwenye ni mwa Janet ya dehera. Ni ngoa mweke si ya kandibi mavila hii mwa meda kubifuwe. Mana mwa mutamwa. Murio mwino sana. Ukira mwino mwa mi kanon. E asandi sana. Esindu si waenda wabwene mwene sibi. Esi laida. Aya. Abantu bosi katabana abasomanga ni basomera mu nyumba yeni abamkeni yanga kosa yali chingi friendly hand but bashoere barusisi mapesa mangi sana si manyere mbu kanoni ya masishi kama pesa mangi karudire hoho isa ni bohayo kanoni ni wambo lele Eti milioni ti arudirenge tio ti arudirenge kulira lia Janet. Murio mwino kumukera. Kata hawundi na wole mbuyali mujane. Sinyanga tindi. Hawundi no wadiri lakini. Omusi ya ni. Omusi ya nuange ya haka laka kanda hawolele. Kumaku wako osi ya haka laka. Ngotu wame rija roja siya mwere kasoa. Awole lembu, mbushetani niye kanya asia, lakini yalu mundu mula hida. Nishetani kecha kanya asia. Mana mkunya asia kwa shetani uko, jeni ya vira madinyu. Kata siye sindecha anga na angwa shudia. Ilikuwa ndoa ya matesu. Lakini buwana asifiwe kwa mana yesu alikuwepo. Haka pangusa machosi hayo. Aba menya sino buadiri? Mbata? Eh? Wa manyako sida? Eh, lanu ngo musi ya niya wole le mbu. Mbu jane tu kwenye ko musi ya kubula hii. Ne jane tu kubula hii wae ya lolosye. Mubandu wa ya menya na wae ya lolosye. Mubaraga ya lolosye. Mubako lundu. Mubo luya. Kata mu mirimo. Mbuyali leader wa resource. She was a resource person in mathematics. 
manyere hisabu sine indinyu lakini mbe niye khandi wa khonyanga ba elimu no lela okhumenya nende ba khaye ba asiye ali nende certificate ya county msima the best performer in women activities isikombe si sibere nga afu ana sidongere ingo esi e county inamba no mundu akapakwa abe shalo ba mupaka aba ya menya nabo ba mupaka mana mu county inamba ba khasibosi ba mubere si sikombe wa outstanding lady performer in the county mbara no mundu wa rais kata bana ba ye mukhabo elanga mu follow the suit abana mwa khanyala lakini munyalo kutemo ho i'm bearing a hero a hero in our home i'm bearing my daughter she was a sister but because i mentored her through every sort of life she recognized me always as daddy i'm bearing her today and that is why you saw yesterday I was so grieved. I was shedding tears. Today I'm okay because tears were shed yesterday. She's somebody I am going to miss. She has been standing with me, besides me, in all problems that I, I would encounter. But because she has the Lord, and she died knowing where she's going. She was not lamenting. I know I will join her if I can also fight hard. May God bless, rest her soul in eternity. Thank you. Ninaimani. Ninaimani. Aiden. Ninaimani. 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 Nina imani nitafika binguni kwa baba yangu njia ni kweli kuna vikwazo na mateso lakini nguvu zangu zaongezeka nikimuona Yesu msalaba nitakaza mwendo hadi mwi nitakaza mwendo hadi kaza mwendo e dugu yangu kaza na wewe mwenye hadi mwisho Yesu Watu ambao walikuwa wanatembea na mama Janet na Amunga ametufikisha hapa akamchukua. Hawa ni watu wapendwa kutoka different areas. Tuna Eldoret hapa, tuna Ateso hapa, wapo Ateso. Tazeso hapa, Eldoret wapo Eldoret. Tuna tuna jeguni na huyu, tuna Ibumala hapa. Oh Eldoret yeka, Ibumala hapa, tuna what? Wote wako hapa. Tuna wakubwa kanisa wetu kama majitikoni. Hapa, munaona? Ameokoa hata professors. Professor wako hapa. Kwa hivyo, sisi munga mbitetea. Kwa hivyo, wajitikoni na wenzetu na wena mukai chini. Nipake hapa na mama kwa mana nti sisi ndi 
tulishuhudia harusi ya huyu na tutamwambia neno moja tu Bwana Yesu asifiwe asifiwe mwokozi eh, nashukuru Mungu ah, jina langu ni Sofia Mahero Nyaroto Nyaroto ndio huyu amesimama hapa Yesu ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu alinipata nikiwa msichana kijana wa shule akanionyesha dhambi zangu za utoto za ujana nilikubali mimi ni mwenye dhambi nikatubu Yesu akakubali kunisafisha kwa damu na kunisamehe akanifanya mtoto wake naendelea wakati huo nilikuwa msichana wakati huu ni mzee naendelea uzee ukiongezeka lakini huyu Yesu aliyeniokoa hajaniwacha maana yeye ni mwaminifu kwa wanaomtegemea Nashukuru kwa ajili ya dada yangu anayelala hapa nimezoea kumuita Jen. Jen tulikutana na yeye shuleni. Tulisoma pamoja shule ya upili. Nilikuwa kidato cha tatu alipoingia kidato cha kwanza. Ah uh, nangina Girls High School. Na uh, nilikuwa wa kumtunza kama my junior na tukapendana hapo na tukajuana vizuri na tukatembea pamoja. Jen aliokoka tukiwa naye pamoja I was her Christian Union chair lady kwa hivyo aliokoka akiwa mikononi mwangu na tukaanza kupendana hapo tukitembea hii safari ya kwenda mbinguni hata ndugu wake ambaye amezungumza hapa baba James Odhiambo alikuwa anakuja shuleni kutuhubiria Jen akiwa close friend and a sister in Christ tuliendelea hivyo ikafika wakati uh, mimi nilikuwa wabutere kuzaliwa nikaolewa hapa Koyonzo na ulipofika wakati wa Jen kuolewa nikaona kwamba pia anakuja kule niko maana ushirika wetu ni munami na ye pia hapa ambapo tuko kiushirika watu kutendereza pia wao ni wa ushirika wa munami kwa hivyo waliona walipoona kwamba wanataka kuingia kwa nyumba wakaona sisi tuwe best couple maana hata ndugu Rogers akiwa ndugu alikuwa rafiki wa my husband here kwa hivyo we were their best couple na tumependana na tumetembea pamoja Mungu ampumzishe kwa amani Murio Kanisa uh, wageni wote ambao wamekuja kwa siku ya leo na wasalimu katika jina la Bwana Hamjambo Hamjambo tena Wacha tuinue mkono kwa sababu ya Janet sisi wote na waomba Ah, uh, ni mengi yamesemwa juu ya Janet. Uh, mimi nimemjua kwa miaka 40, karibu 40 moja. Akihamia mahali anaishi. Sisi ni majirani. Na mengi ambayo yamesemwa juu yake sisi ndio tumekuwa tukiendelea kuyaona. Kwa hivyo nasema tu Janet amekuwa uh, mama mzuri. Uh, katika hiyo hali mama ametuachia maneno matatu ambayo tumekuwa tukiona tukiishi na e jambo la kwanza tulikuwa tumeform uh, kikundi hapo nyumbani hiyo area inajulikana kama sikura na akawa mstari wa mbele sana uh, wakati tunapata mambo kama haya ambayo tunasimama mbele yake. Anajitolea na anatutolea. Nikiwa kama mwenyekiti katika hiyo area wa hicho kikundi amekuwa akitoa vitu kusaidia wakati wa majonzi kama haya. Si aberenge mama kweli yadili harusi si sindu na hada si kubole ruwa nyitawe nilikuwa tu najua niko na mama ambaye ana support kijiji ah uh, mwenzetu amekuwa katika mstari wa kwanza sisi ni wanajua kali mahali pale akipita kama umeli huko uh, katika shamba mambo yake yalikuwa machache sana we bale we bale asia ukhese lakini amaruhupo rio nende Ukusanga aloko. Kwa akule kairao ama kuwanga akoka rio. Kabiri kamuisho, 
ya bere na hola rihua na meka shuambe a uh, rifaula kwa mfano ni bahata ke dokia church obira orula wa e hobira wange ho tie na kanisa ebi khabia e bia muisho bia berenge mu kanisa ebi khabia e bingi na rula mu kanisa ni khandi abira kaluha mungu ebi ene bebi etere bia khupende sia khumweria kwa hivyo umuse ebula ni khumbola kuri to bali abatu ngere mu area da ga khukope ho kena ko murio mera bananga charles makohanekesa muko fundi ali tsingi ya ombe filipo kwara murio Mwalimu au uh, one of the neighbors, thirty seconds only. Okay, sure. Just come and say hi, Mwalimu au uh, The neighbor, Karibu. Just thirty seconds, just to say hi. Anina Ishimo itvaki sote mali hapa. Ilo mambu wa mimi ni Mwalimu au Jirani wa Madam kweli kweli. Mimi ni madam kwa miaka sasa. Nimewahi fanya na haya hapa kasi sikinga. Unapita kwangu ndio ende kwa madam. Na kila wakati kila siku madam akipita akitoka kwake lazima simama asema omutie mwalimu mlumba labu. Siku pi, mbili tatu sikiisha mimi bila kuona madam nitauliza madam ameenda wapi. Nitaelezwa kwamba ameenda kwa hospitali ama ameenda safari mimi nimesoma maneno matatu kutoka kwa mwalimu kitu ya kwanza tangu nijue maada miaka 24 hakuna mwaka yote ambaye imeisha bila maada kukaa na mtoto hapo nyumbani maada amelea watoto wengi kwa high school kama wanasimama hapa ni wengi kama mnaweza kuwapa nafasi hata dakika moja mtaona maada alifanya kazi mzuri jambo la pili Madam alikuwa mkarimu sana. Mimi kama jirani nimekosa. Jambo la tatu, madam alipenda kanisa sana. Hata akienda kwa shughuli zake akifika kwangu hapo kwa junction, atashuka na kupea mtoto kikapu. Mbili renango. Safari yake ya mwisho ni kwa kanisa. Mimi watu watamaliza matanga wataenda. Mimi nitabaki pale sina mbele. Have nowhere to lean on. Have nobody to lean on. Nitakosa watu wataenda lakini mimi nitaendelea kuona kaburi. Nitakosa madam. Nataka kuambia watoto wa madam. Hawa watoto wananiita tu dadi. Wakati madam alikufa. Mtoto Dibara alipigia simu saa 6 dakika 47. Cha kwamba mwalimu Tumetajaribu kufika nyumbani hakuna mtu anashika simu. Kama jirani nikaamuka na mama. But kuenda to break such a news kwa watoto ambao walikuwa pale ilikuwa mziko. But nashukuru watoto wale tuliomba watu ambao walianza kupiga nduru pale ni mimi jirani na mke wangu. Two seconds, two seconds. Thank you. Ninataka kushukuru kwa kasi ambayo madam amefanya. Tunamwachilia kama majirani asafiri salama. Uh, kanisa takatifu ambalo limekalea mazishi ya mwenda zake. Uh, wa Kristo wote, uh, marafiki na majirani na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hakuna uh, mtu anaangalia hii mkono. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, nimesimama hapa na kofia mbili kofia ya kwanza mimi ni mwalimu mkuu na mimi pia ni msimamizi wa walimu wakuu kwa hivyo nataka kutambua walimu wote ambao wamefika katika hafla hii all teachers wherever you are kindly madam was a teacher just raise and wave walimu walimu thank you so much for coming Thank you so much for morning with us. Nataka pia kutambua walimu wakuu ambao wako hapa na kwa haraka pengine waje tu haraka kwa sababu aliyetupa uwanja huu ni mwalimu mkuu.
na nataka pia asalimie alafu pia yeye atoe rambi rambi zake walimu wakuu tafadhali wherever you are i know teachers are the instructors and they will keep to the instruction karibu just introduction oh, thank you so much yeah. i'm walima huko the head teacher maolo primary and junior secondary head teacher mabunge rc priska uma yubuye thank you reverend makoha milton head teacher hulwanda she was a god parent to my children thank you Wasike Aaron mwalimu mkuu St Teresa Makale Primary Asante sana mwalimu tulifunza na yeye just a minute Ndobe Raudo Hirare Primary Thank you Mtanyi Godfrey nambale Aban Primary Kuhu rest in peace Bwana Yesu asifiwe Jina langu ni Pamela Ogada mwalimu mkuu wa shule ya upili ya Sikinga nimeleta rambi rambi zangu na pia kusema kwamba madam Janet tulifanya naye pale kwa board alikuwa mtu anapenda elimu na alikuwa mtu wa maneno ya mawaidha mwenye hekima pole sana kwa familia wacha roho yake ilale salama uh, Mili Sentogutu head teacher Buhahala Primary Butler Sub County Welcome madam Malova Humphrey John na ngeni primary Uh, kanisa katifu kanisa katakatifu tumsifu Yesu Kristu uh, mimi naitwa Kenneth Agoi uh, mimi ni principal wa Mungazi Technical and Vocational College ningependa kusema kwamba mama Janet Odhiambo alikuwa kwa kamati ya project management committee ambayo inahusika na ujenzi wa college na kuunganisha college na CDF. Kwa hivyo uh, nimekutana na mama Janet, mama mzuri sana ambaye ana furaha. Tulikuwa naye kwa mkutano niliposikia meaga nilihuzunika. Kwa hivyo nimeleta rambi rambi zangu na kuwakumbusha kwamba kile chuo cha Mungazi TVC ni chuo ambacho nitakana tuchukue vijana wetu hapa tuwapeleke kule juzi kuna mtandao wa kups umefunguka wanafunzi kujisajili kujoin vio na watapea, watapewa ufadhili na serikali kupitia kwa help na kupitia kwa scholarship kwa wale ambao walimaliza uh, form 4 uh, wajaribu wajisajili kwa kile chuo chetu cha Mungazi TVC kuna mtaala ulibadilika primary school na secondary kuna CBC kule kwetu kuna tunaita CBET competency based education kwamba tutakufunza na utafanya mambo yako ya mkono asanteni sana kwa kunisikiliza asante sana hao wawili nimewabakisha ni kwa sababu walifanya na madam but just a minute uh, thank you kanisa ambalo linaongoza ibada ya mwenda zake na wote ambao umekuja hapa kuomboleza twasema makiwa naitwa Samuel Mkaga mwalimu kuu Sianda Primary wenda mtashangaa mbona nimesalia nyuma mwenda zake alikuwa board member hasa mwenyekiti kwa shule ya chekechea amekuwa mama mkarimu mwingi wa ma mawaidha na mwenye anatia bidii katika kazi yake na kupatia sisi pia hasa mimi mwelekeo thabithi. nimekuwa na yeye kwa takriban mwaka moja karibu na miezi miwili na nimempoteza walakini ni kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu hayana dosari wacha Mwenyezi Mungu hamweke roho yake mahali mwenyewe amekusudia mbarikiwe now the host kanisa ambalo linaongoza wageni waombolezaji na marafiki bwana yesu asifiwe salamu za dada janet janet alikuwa mtu wa furaha na mimi nikijua janet alikuwa mmoja wa wanakamati wangu jina ni madam fanis ngaira mimi ndiye mwalimu mkuu katika shule hii na najua mungu ana sababu 
ya kufanya ugeni katika hii shule. Janet akiwa mwana kamati si mwana kamati kawaida. Alikuwa mwana kamati extra kwa sababu alileta jambo ambalo tuko tunalishughulikia na najua shule hii kwa wakati mfupi itakuwa mahali ambapo kila mmoja atajivunia. Tuko na alumni group ambayo imeshika mpaka stakeholders na Janet alikuwa treasurer wetu. Kwa hivyo mimi nimepoteza mtu ambaye tulikuwa na imani na yeye lakini naomba Mungu aweze kutupa mwingine ndipo satuweze kuendelea. Karibuni mahali hapa. Asanteni. Asante sana madam. Asante. Kanisa na ombolezaji wote Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina muniite E, mwalimu Jaftha Nyongesa Wasike Mimi ndiyo deputy registrar Dr. Daniel Wako Mrende TVC Inapatikane kwa ubunge la Matayos Sisi tumekuja hapa kwa sababu tunafanya na moja wetu Amba naitua Madam Masi Ekesa Tunaleta rambi rambi za principal wetu Bwana Launa Isongati Tunasema sana pole kwa familia. Wambi letu, e, nimesikia senior mwalimu principal wakisema. Himizo letu, bado tunahimiza kwamba vijana, wacha vijana mba wali hitimu kidato cha nne. Wajapata na fasi ya kujiunga na vio vya ufundi. Sai tuna technical institutions in every constituency. And we... Pray, well, we pray or we kindly request that all youths, vijana when you are eh, form four, na wajenda kwa shule, kindly take a step, visit the institution, uwelekezo mzuri, saiku sips, mefungua portal, kindly, for the sake of time, mukikuja mungati, pia kumbukeni kuna Dr. Daniel Wako, let us grow all together, be blessed, thank you. msifu Yesu Kristu kwa majina ni Madam Janet Wanga from Murende Technical Asante. Asante sana. Uh, Madam Ali Elala ni mwanakamati. Nataka tu kutambua wanakamati wote wamekuja kama uko kwa ene kamati. Inuka tu na wave in respect of the late. Wanakamati. Wanakamati. Asante sana na muwe wazuri kama madam. Uh, na valia kofia ya pili, na simama kama rafiki wa madam. Na nataka kushukuru mungu sana sana, kwa sababu mungu aliweka uhusiano wetu kwa zaidi ya miaka ishirini. I came to this school in 1999. Na nilipo ingia tu hivi, nilipata wadada hapa wengi, na walikuwa wanaitana my sister. My sister Wilmina, my sister Mary Stella, my sister Demtula. Sasa mimi nikajua, me I have no relation, me sina sister. Lakini when madam discovered that I was God-fearing, wokovu ulitweka pamoja na madam hadi leo. Lunch time ingefika, tungejificha pale nyuma kwa madaza za nyuma na tushikane mikono na tuombe. Sazingia tukeomba mpaka tukue overwhelmed. Tushikane mani tulie machozi. Paka wakati moja head teacher alikuwa nasema, na watu wa, wa kuomba omba. Young people who pray, pray. Kwa sababu angesikia sauti yetu kutoka huko nyuma. Hiyo maombi imetushikilia pamoja irrespective of our denominations. Janet angekuwa na shida. Najua hata kabla ayite mtu wa kanisa yake. Angepiga simu. Kama tunaeza kutana tukutane. Kama tuwezi kutana. Tunaeza ombeana kwa simu. Ata buwana angu wanako hapa alijua. Simu yoyote ya after saine. Iyo ni simu ya Janet. Kwa sababu tungeongea mpaka sanani. Tuombe, amalize kuomba, mimi niombe, alafu tuseme ya mina. Ime tusaidia sana. 
Madam Kingine Kilituweka Tatpamoja, we were blood related. When I came, I was breastfeeding a young girl. Nalikuwa na muita nyanya. When Madam came to know my place, nakakuta mtoto mdogo na tunamuita nyanya. Nakasema, eh, nyanya huyu ni nyanya nani? Niliposema ni nabodi. Mada mange kuja bebe mtoto aite na bodi, na choti, na hala. Mani mufuraishe kabisa. Mada mkwa sababu ya re blood relation to metembea. Amen introduced to all the relatives. Na tumefika mbali na madam kwa sababu ya relationship. Madam we were colleagues like I indicated earlier. Kwa sababu tulifunza pamoja. Madam, we shared so many secrets. Na enya nataka kuambia moja aliniambia. Mundu mwalimu sapa kuchenje wardrobe after three years. Kwa hivyo three years, zake zingeisha na niambia. Madam, where are you? Na kitaka kuniambia kitu kizuri alikuwa na niita na marenge. Na marengo ulie na. Nda hoka vengu vochi no icho dole meikuyera. Na ningeenda ni chagwe na zingina agawe, agawe, agawe. We are changing wardrobe. Yangu tatu pia ikiisha, madam will come to share. Then, madam, we were born together because unconditional love. And because of love, I want to tell you this. That tulikamuanga ngombe moja na madam. Madam, akikamua kwake, mutakunya maziwa mpaka ikauke. Tukikamua kwangu hivo. Ngombe zikizaa mbili kwa mutu moja. Munagawana ngombe. Here yo mwanefwe. Nuosu hera indi. Kwa hiyo upendo madam aliingia kwa maisha yangu zaidi. Madam kila wakati hata tukiwa shuleni. At one time I was her head teacher in Sianda Primary. Olanga mkutano, madam amanya mboy, this is my small sister. Madam yeja na kuteba. Na marenge wepangi rotie. Mbwa ya haba nyinyi so mkutano kuno. Nda ho o disiplina, vandu fulani fulani kuchoku discuss nyandike minutes. Mada miecha na huvo ramwane fwe. O manyanga. Wosuru mwibusi. Sasa hiyo mkutano tutaenda tuku discuss other things. Hiyo tutawacha. Natu, we saved many drunkards. We saved very many people. Kwa sababu ya advice ya Janet. Janet ningekuwa na ugeni. Anakuja we pangirote mwane fwe. Okimaliza umuambie vile umejipanga. Nasema kwa mia hapo. I will take over from there. And actually, madam was taking over. Mwena asike nyama, mwena asike busi wumiogo, mwena arete. Bana ni wacham school, we pangi rote. As teachers, we shared a pay slip. Let me mention this as I go. People will wonder how we shared a pay slip. Madam fees ni amu hasia, na atewa my sister. I can only afford 50. What is your capacity? Kwa bukula nirange loni. Ni mbuku ule nukushea? Yes, na mbuku ule nukushea. We have walked with madam. Kata mumaluaye. Madam nata awora. Kata msachaye nata awora mwana. Anambora mama. Vichani vihaya. Icha unjire msivitali. Madam rere ya vera wawo na irobi. Ndari imanye sambu acha management. Lakini nga yacha biyamu haya. Vimbe rere visito lakinda huwe basana sahi. Mbwe hivi orere, uhu sebu hirre machi. Mama Janet kwa nabila hii. Newa na ba Janet. Mnajua njia. Naruo mwana. Naruo mwano ne nyangina. Just gonga mlango. Mlamwa. Hera bana. Hera bana mlamwa. Hera bana. We are now not there. Hera bana. Ne bana muhere sengwe. Mumufu ase mumuri ise. Na saya naba honyi. Haa. Omari rao. Haya bandu bamari rao mkongeo. Kanisa na wakuristo. Wata mbae wamekuja. Tukiwema ata. Wa islamu. Hamu jambu. Buwana yesu asifiwe. Ntakuwa mfupi. Haa. Sisi tulikuwa walimu. Na tunajua walimu wenzetu ambayo wamechukua. Haa. Uh, kutoka kwetu ndi wameongea mbeleni uh, kabla
tuendelee kuishi tulifikiria kwamba tukikaa tu nyumbani ukiwa mmoja bila kushauriana mambo itaonekana mbele ya wengine ya kwamba watu wanasema hawa ati hawa ndi walikuwa walimu wetu lakini tunajua tukiwa pamoja hivi kwa kushauriana tuko vile mnavyotuona madam janet alikuwa mmoja wetu kwa sababu aliungana sisi uh, baada tu ya kustaafu na tukaendelea na e, vizuri sana um, hadi mwaka wa 2020 wakati we alikuwa mgonjwa ugonjwa ambao umetajwa hapa lakini Mungu akatusaidia akatoka kwa huo ugonjwa kufikia mwaka jana mambo ikabadilika kidogo lakini tulikuwa tunaendelea na yeye hadi mwaka huu ambaye imeshindikana sana. Aa, wale ambao wamesimama hapa ni walimu kutoka uh, Buhayo nzima mpaka huko Matayos. Lakini hata Bungoma wako hapa. Wengine wako kule hata Kakamega. Lakini kikundi cha huyu mama kilikuwa kinaitwa Buhayo East Retired Teachers Self Help Group na wameungana vizuri wanatembea pamoja huyu mwalimu ambaye amelala alikuwa mshauri wale ambapo ambao wako na kitabu hiki wameona yeye yeah, alisomea guiding and counseling na alikuwa anatushauri vizuri kwa kikundi chetu tuko hata na makasisi mmeona canon yuko pale uh, uh, kuna retired uh, padri yuko pale Mama yuko hapa uh, Mama Lei Canon Mama Mama Padri yuko hapa na wengineo Nikwaambia wasemi majina labda tutachukua muda mrefu uh, na hamtapenda kuona hivyo walimu wastaafu kama mfano hawataki hawapendi kuchafuliwa majina ndio sababu tutakatia pale Mimi kama mwenyekiti wao Naitwa Nelson Okwaro Kemo na mpenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu na mbarikiwe. Emirembe muno mwesi. Emirembe kwa mwanamneno wa wange Janet. Janet omwana wae ni ubukulo mukhana wange. Amangi muura ku Madam Grace. <laughs> Emirembe mwesi. Amjamba ombolezaji wote. Asante sana kanisa, ombelezaji wote na wageni wote ambao wamekuja na msalimu katika jina la Yesu wa mjambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi kwa majina ni Grace Sagina Ekesa. Msichana wangu Masi ndiye ameoleka hapa kwa Janet. Tumekuwa marafiki na dada Janet kwa muda mrefu tangu muda huo wote msichana wangu aanze kukaa hapa. Tumekuwa marafiki hata nilisikia yeye ni mgonjwa nilikuja wiki moja kabla ya safarisho Nairobi nilikuja nikampata anaumwa lakini alikuwa anajikaza huwezi jua ningao alikuwa anasema anaumwa lakini ukimuona ni mchangamfu anajaribu kujikaza tukakaa na e, ilikuwa siku ya Jumapili tukaombeana tukaachana mimi nikaenda nikasikia amesafirishwa Nairobi Alipoenda tunaombea roho yake Mungu aiweke mahali pema aliyoipangia. Asanteni wote ambao wamenisikiliza na Mungu awabariki. Kwa majina ni Maculate Makoha. Kwa majina ni Zadio Kokelo. Humphrey Bahati Okelo. Duncan Okelo. Unova mlanga mwale wa William. Efue ni kuliano nga ifamilia bakatala a msiani wa alwanyano ni wabukula mukhana wefu wa menyanga ni naye umuli ndanga na efue ku basa pole ku familia bamenya a kukosia mundu wabwe kwa hivyo efue se kukendele sanga kuli kurita kuli konda basi efue bandi abali kando ifamilia bakatala banyala kusingira ko bemo abani bali ne bakingule ko samakhono kabwe kulo kobera sikuri ne sikongo na bandu be khale mungire khusalana kwa hivyo wa muri mukinga khomakhono kengwe kwa hivyo muri omno a 
bosi baliano kha khobe bembi kiri khuri yo khulo khobela inyanga ne indambi na baba oli na bangi muri yo muno hembo muno khobo yangu kwikanza ya church of god nenga bafuyi no anglican church nenga bafuyi yue nindi mo murala kuri rabana ange samuel so ini rulange bunyore Ise ni ise mulala omsianu anje abukula no muhana ohura ngungwa dibora omuhana uyo mbuo omuhana uyo ali muitala muanje wamenyanna ne omsiere ke uhure kele kwa ali usiro kubako na ya hembi tawe spokuwa baskae nyasa ina anje hati kana kwa kane za nabo no kwa yangu bulione kwa yakala nabo kuloma ke liba liyo Ma dia no no mukanda kwanje kurule bunyole kusinjira ko bichwa kuba kuri yaho asande muno ani asimu madiba ya siku ya leo kwaya yetu na ombolezade wote nikiwa ndani bwana yesu asifiwe semeni haleluya tumetoka bunyore kwa jina naitwa ogore damaris huyu ni dada yangu bwana asifiwe Ah uh, masibao na kwaya na wote na msalimu hamjambo hamjambo tena sisi tuko na uzuni uh, na bana wetu kukuacha kama sisi bado kuja kana yeye uh, watoto na mzee poleni sana kwa majina naitwa Daina Odinga Walio kalia mazibao ya leo. Walio kalia mazibao ya leo na kwaya na wa wote ambao wamekuja katika matanga hii na wasalimu katika jina la Bwana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Mimi nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Hakika kwangu ni uzuni kwa maana tulikuwa tujakaa na mama tulikuwa tujaongea na ye vizuri na ametuacha kikubwa tu tuonge tuombe jamii hii tuombe watoto walioachwa na mzee washikane kitu kikubwa waelekeze macho yao kwa Bwana kwa maana Bwana ndio anamuweza wa yote kwa majina yangu wananiita Florence Agoi nikiwa nimetoka Bunyore mbarikiwe sana thank you very much a uh, kanisa anglikana ambaye imesimamia matanga haya jamii ambaye imefiwa ndugu yangu Rogers na watoto na jamii yote kwa jumla waombolezaji wote hamjambo hamjambo tena jina langu ni Charles Haira mimi ni baba ya mmoja wa wavulana ambao wameoa kutoka mji huu kijanangu anaitwa John Haira na msichana wangu anaitwa Kevina um, kwanza ningependa kushukuru familia ya mama Janet kwa kujaribu vile walivyoweza kumupeleka hospitali kumshughulikia mpaka wakati aliaga Madam Janet alikuwa mwalimu na mimi pia niko upande wa elimu hasa tumefanya naye kwa njia nzuri amekuwa mama mchangamfu akifanya kazi ya kanisa baada ya kustaafu na tutamkosa sana. Um, sisi tunatoka kwa ukoo wa Bachimo. Ningependa tu kuwauliza wale ambao tumeandamana wao wasimame tu kuonyesha wamefata msichana wangu Kevina ikiwa wanaweza kusimama na fikiri wako pale. Wamba nini la asili o kwa londo la kazini 
Sikinga nimewasili nyanya yangu kum kumzika Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Na upunga mkono salamu kuwapokeza Kamwe sinao mswano mama tumempoteza Huzuni yetu ni nono tumebaki kujiliza Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Nakumbuka janeti mwalimu wangu wa dhati Darasa la pili eti linipa u prefekiti Siku wana ati ati yeye alinipa sweeti Ulale pema mlezi, ulale pema mwalimu, mlezi wa ndoto zetu Uzuri wako janeti wa shinda wa interneti Imara kama roboriti lini tete ya sichiti Lini funza isu kutina kuimba mashairi Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Kiwa hapa sikinga shule hino ya msingi Ukatu wewe hukuringa litu jenge ya msingi Ona sasa utumesonga watala mutu wengi Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Wengi umewasuka sasa ni mada kitari Wengine uka wapaka mafuta ya injinia Walimu uka tupika marubani na opia Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Ali ni tumayuni ya nyanyangu Ali ni tumayuni ya nyanyangu ndu marehemu Mazi wakani pimia chai tukai nywatamu Mandazi lini fungia ukafuatisha salamu Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Nina mwona giresi ya meja wa wasi wasi Debora ana kamasi usuni wa kina masi Richard ana kiasi ame mkosa mfwasi Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Ame baki ya tububu mpenzi wa korojasi Analota kanijibu na nita mpiga kisi Urembo wako ajabu ata ukosa kasisi Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Okwa loa panakoma mbavu zangu zinauma Na tumboli na nguruma chochote misi jauma Hiyo chapati na nyama ilete ni imahima Ulale pema mwalimu mlezi wa ndoto zetu Shabash Wali msia na wanamudiru Rio, komiti a uh, kanisa takatifu a uh, wageni wetu kutoka sehemu mbalimbali mbali. tunawakaribisha katika kikao hichi cha kumwaga mama na mbele yenu hii ndio kamati ya haba bomani ambayo ilikuwa ikishughulika na mipango yote karibuni songeni karibu Hawa watatu na wengine ambao hawako kam, tulikuwa na komiti ambayo ilikuwa ikiongozwa na wana jititali kutoka Nairobi ambao 
mikutano zao walikuwa akifanya kwa simu nataka kuchukua nyafazi, nyafazi hii kuwashukuru sana wote ambao walichangia kwa hali na mali kuona ya kwamba siku kama ya leo tumeiona ilikuwa ni vigumu mama alituharakisha lakini tukasema tutasimama kidete tuone ya kwamba siku ya leo inafanana vile ilivyo homa moyo ni mulala wa khabetanga mu bikundi vingi esi yange ya khabetanga musi atimboma kulene ndi sikundi silangi kwanga mbasali kwetu ni ya khabetanga ni akilisia bali abana aba khoyero kutia mu sikuli nokolola mbo mwana ali nende uwezo wa kusoma na pengine nyuma yake kuna wazazi ambao ni wadhaifu tulikuwa tumemchagua awe mwenye kufuatilia hali kama hiyo ikitokea so asali kwetu tumempoteza kama mwakilishi wetu hawa nilio nao mbele, mbele yenu hawa mmoja wa mmoja ni secretary ni mmoja ni treasurer huyo ni katibu mkuu wangu amejaribu kuna kili kila jambo ambalo limeendelea nafikiri kesho tukifanya postmortem atatoa ripoti yote kwa majina akiitwa Jonathan Mwanga huyu ni treasurer ambaye ni mweka hasina na amejaribu vilivyo kuweka pesa ambazo zimetolewa na nafikiri pia atatoa ripoti yake kwa njia nzuri so kamati ya Nairobi na wapongeza kupitia kwa jiji hata zenu tumeona makubwa ya kitendeka nafikiri sisi watu wa East Bahayo katika zile kamati ambazo tulikuwa tunachangia kwa matanga hii imekuwa ni kamati ambayo imekuwa na shida kidogo kila mmoja alikuwa anajisikia tu na, na, na kutoka nataka kuwarudishieni shukrani zote ambao mliweka nguvu zenu mifukoni mwenu na mkachangia kwa sababu mlijua mama alikuwa mtu alitaka utulivu na popote alipokuwa akienda alikuwa akionekana uwepo u, aki, akiwa u, na anahusika na lile jambo ambalo liko pale aba mudiru bara mwahakosia mwahakosia mwahaya aba menyo mwalangire nge mbino wenyu na aba menya nenye kuba bolera mbu mama alikuwa ameshikiliwa na mikono miwili mama alikuwa anapendwa hapa kwa hivyo mukirudi murudi kwa drawing board Numula kaluka ku drawing board kuweza kumunyula identity aba me mkaluka yemwe kasiye nenya kulekerao lakini na washukuru wote ambao wamehusika kwa safari ya mama a uh, wambolezaji wote uh, walio pia kabiti ilio panga matanga bwana yasifiwe hatutakuwa na mengi a uh, sisi ni familia ya mzee retired director Charles Khaira na mama Josephine Khaira pia ni retired kulia bachimo kwa majina naitwa George Odinga ah tuko na mko yetu tulitoa hapa anaitwa Kevina tunaweza kuwa pengine tunaongea na hayuko tungependa pia simame asanti sana tuko hapa kwa sababu yake poleni kwa familia na kama sisi watoto tumepoteza lakini yote ni ya Mungu Uh, bari zenu mimi naitwa Bernard Haira mimi ni ndugu yake John ambaye ni mzee wa Kevina thank you so much akanisa la kanglikana familia ambayo wamefiwa na waombolezaji wenzangu hamjambo uh, mimi kwa majina naitwa John Haira nikiwa kijana kutoka Ebuchimo hapa Ngambo tu na nilibahatika
kupitia katika mji huu na nikajishindia mke ambaye anaitwa Kevina ambaye mmesikia. Mimi langu hapa ni kuleta rambi rambi zangu na za familia yangu na wale wa ukoo wangu wote kwa familia ya mzee kwa kumpoteza mama. Mama amekuwa rafiki yangu sana hata sio kama mama mkwe. Mimi langu ningependa tu kumshukuru kwa kunilelea mke kwa kumkuza kwa vile kama hangekuwa huyo mama uenda singejua boma la mzee Rogers nataka nimshukuru hata kwa kifo chake nimwambie asante kwa kunikuzia mke vyema jambo la pili mama amekuwa mwalimu na ametufunza mambo mengi la kwanza alikuwa mama ambaye ni wanidhamu na anapenda heshima hata alimfanya mke wangu hange muruhusu anite kwa jina alikuwa tu ananiita baba fulani baba fulani kwa sababu ya mama huyo heko kubwa sijui ni nani mwingine atakuwa namkumbusha bibi yangu anite baba Malin kila siku nitamkosa huyo mama kwa vile amenisaidia kwa mengi mwisho kabisa huyo mama kila wakati tukiongea alikuwa kwanza anakuuliza kijana wangu umeomba kila asubuhi hata akikupigia simu na ukisema bado sijaomba atakuombea kwa hiyo simu kabla ukate atakuwa amekuombea so ametufunza tumtegemee Mungu tuwe karibu na Mungu kwa vile yeye ndio mwenye uwezo wote sitanena mengi hata nikinena mengi huenda sitamwamsha lakini namuomba Mola aiweke roho yake malipema peponi asanteni sana Bwana asifiwe. Okay kwa majina naitwa Ruben Omenda. I'm the brother to Zadok. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Eh hey, tumenyamaza sana. Bwana asifiwe. Okay kwa majina naitwa Zadok Amboko. Ah uh, Isendo Munyole. And uh, ni mimi ni bwana ya Debra akiwa anaweza simama. Uh, mimi na shukuru sana kufika hapa siku ya leo because mama ndiye ametuleta hapa na mimi niko na uzuni sana because uh, siku za mwisho za mama tulikuwa na yeye alikuja Nairobi we spend a whole sunday together we prayed we had a whole service kwa dada grace a whole day and hiyo uh, time mama alitu advice and uh, one of the things that came out ni kwamba mama ni mtu one of the things anatuachia nyuma ni service alikuwa mtu wa huduma mtu wa kupeana service to the community service to the people and uh, alituambia ya kwamba kama hata survive tuendeleze kazi yake and if there is anything we can pick wakati tuna celebrate mama ni kwamba tuendeleze her legacy legacy of service legacy of peacemaking alikuwa mtu wa kutengeneza amani mimi ninashukuru sana mama kwa kunizalia bibi pia kwa sababu nilikuja kwa family in 2018 na mama ali majua ukienda mahali eh, unaambiwa kuna vitu mingi zile zenye watu fanya lakini mama aliniambia ifue huliva Yesu huliva Yesu those things we don't know Mama alinisalamia kwa mkono. Watu wengine walikuwa wanakuja na lakini mama alinisalamia kwa mkono. Na from there we've walked the journey. Mimi kama family tumepoteza mama but uh, tunaomba ya kwamba muendelee kutuombea, muendelee kuombea watoto wa mama wapate nguvu waendelee na kazi ambayo mama ameacha. Kwa hayo machache tunawashukuru nyote kwa kukuja. Sasa Janet popote ulipo Jesus kama mtu wako. 
Atuza kumisa na shoshu lituacha mapema. Lakini cha utakapa. Ndani ya moyo yetu uta waitoka. Pengu ambayo uliacha. Hakuna mbata waza kuzipa. Popote ulipo na mbo tulinda na mbo tuombe. Na utupengu fia kwandele na kazi ambayo uliacha. Shoshu we love you very much. And we will miss you forever. It can be deep. It can be deep. I'm telling you. It can be deep. Pole kuhu. Aya sawa. Engwe mula. Wano. Ah, muli bezi kuli. Tia mugi kala. Kufu manjiri. Muli bezi kuli. Familia. Where is their music? Music here niko wapi? Daughters, daughters, daughters of kuhu. Madhibahu ya Bwana mchana wa leo na wote ambao wamekuja kutusaidia kusindikiza mama wetu mpenzi Bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena kwa majina ni Masi Ekesa Ajilite I am the only daughter in law Sijui nianzie wapi Mimi nili Nilingia kwa hii boma mwaka wa 2008 mwezi wa pili nikapokelewa na mama kama mama yangu This lady is an extraordinary woman I have never seen a mother in law like her That's why hata nimeambia MC sitasimama kama daughter in law nitasimama kama daughter because indeed she has been a mother Mama huyo alinipokea kwake nimekaa kwake for the 16 years nimeishi kwa hiyo boma until today maybe kifo chake tu ndio kinanitoa kwa jikoni yake nimepika pale miaka sita. hata kama kukosana kumekuwa tulikuwa tunatengeneza amicably madhe amenilelea watoto wangu mimi for the four children nimeza kwa hiyo boma yeye ndiye alinipeleka labor room not only maternity but labor for women you know what i mean angekaa pale na nurses wakisema push she is literally pushing it with me nimeza hao watoto amekuwa wa kwanza kuwapokea majina hayo mnaona wa kwanza akamuita Rogers her, her husband wa pili akamuita Janet she's let yeye akajiita yeye mwenyewe watatu akamuita Ajiliti kwa kuni in appreciation of my parents na wanne akamuita Wema mama amekuwa mama mlezi mama mzazi mama mpenzi na mama mwelekezi ninda mpoteza sana Tanipa ruhusa kidogo ya kuongea because I will never have another mother in law. Nimemaliza yangu leo. Madhe nakumbuka siku alipokuwa ordained as a teacher for the first time. 
mama tulikuwa kwa boma mimi na yeye tu wawili so two days to her ordination aliniita kwa nyumba yake after supper akaniambia mam kesho naenda kuvalishwa uinjilisti ama mwalimu wa kanisa na akaniambia vile unaona kwa hii boma tuko tu mimi na wewe my husband had gone to sudan by then my daughter my sisters in laws kuna wenye alikuwa walikuwa bado shuleni akaniambia sasa wewe ndio utasimama kwa pengo you know what i mean so akaniambia kesho tutaenda na wewe na mbale kutakuwa na kesha ya ya kuombea siku yetu ya ordination na utakuwa pale kama 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 kila kitu i accepted tulienda tukakesha na yeye kwa baridi asubuhi wakati wa kuvalishwa evangelist nilisimama pale doa singesongea pale kwa madhabahu lakini i was together with her tukaomba pamoja tukamaliza tukaenda nyumbani kulikuwa na sherehe jioni after what water wameenda aliniambia mama olo langu wa hema nasi wa hema ngo mwana ange ngo msata wange ngo everything ndenya weme nasi orio mpaka vile nitapelekwa kwa kaburi ama kama utapelekwa mbele yangu nitakuwa na wewe this afternoon i am so proud because i've kept the covenant mom amidst all the struggles all the hurdles of marriage i have been faithful to whatever we agreed together and today i am keeping the covenant and praying to god that wherever you are you will help me uh, remain in this marriage umekuwa mtetezi wangu umekuwa ukinipigania umekuwa sijui ni seme nini kwa maana hata kule kwangu mimi ilifika wakati nikaondoka kwa sababu ya kazi lakini angepiga simu kila siku kujua mumelala aje mumekula nini mumeomba swali ya kwanza alikuwa anauliza ola miroho babu wema so mama ujue umeenda ninaomba penye uko utakuwa unanikumbusha kwa njia yoyote ile niwe ninaomba sam nitaongea kidogo kwa wakati alipoanza ugonjwa wake tulikuwa na yeye wakati wa covid tulikuwa pamoja na yeye tulitembea na yeye hiyo safari hadi akapona wakati hii ambayo imempeleka ilikaribia tulikaa pamoja na yeye lakini kwa sababu ya shughuli za kazi mimi nilif, watoto wangu walifunga mbele shule nikawatuma nyumbani na because our time days the technicals and the uh, uh, high school and primary vary tulibaki shuleni so i used to come every friday evening na ninarudi kazini monday morning so ya mwisho ndo aelekee nairobi alinipigia simu akaniambia mtoto wangu najua unakujanga friday lakini nataka kukuomba kwamba hii weekend usikuje friday omba wakubwa wako wakikuruhusu uje thursday nikamuuza kwa nini akaniambia mimi naenda nairobi on saturday na ukikuja friday hatutakuwa na wakati mwafaka ya kuongea I honored the, the request. Nikaongea na mkubwa wangu akakubali. That Thursday nikapanga safari. Na Saturday was supposed to be Wema's birthday. So nikaambia tu nakuanga na Department of Food and Beverage, nikawaambia wakantengenezea keki, nikaja nayo that Thursday. Tukimaliza sapa, tukaomba pamoja na watoto wake wengine wenye wako around na wajukuu, tukaenda kulala. Ilipofika kitu saa nne nikamjukua akaja akaniambia mama Roji nyanya anakuita nikashindu ai eh, leo madhe hajakuwa vibaya sana mbona ananiita saa hii nilienda tukakaa pamoja nilipata kama ameketi kwa kitanda ame yauna mire so nikasimama pale nikafikia maybe kuna kitu tu anataka kuniambia akaniambia ta it's a wehala no we've been sitting on the same bed with her so nilikaa pale kwa hiyo kitanda akanishi akaniangalia akaniambia ma, kuna maneno nataka tuonge ngoro labu kule kalamu naomba la dira murwe nikasema labda mara mingi huwa anasema hivyo akitaka kunipa maelekezi maybe eh, anataka tuandike nini budget ya chakula maybe atakuwa na wageni nikasema ah ndadira sa murwe so akaniambia sawa ka hapa kaka akaanza ku, akaniambia yeye nitakumbuka nitasema akaniambia kwanza nataka nikushukuru kwa sababu ya kuweka nadhihi ambayo tuliweka na wewe on my first day i was ordained as a teacher 
akasema ingawaje tumekuwa na ups and downs mumanye ile vikao mbe king irwa msikapo silala paka vidu yane lakini umeweka ahadi tuliyoahidiana na wewe nataka nikushukuru kwa sababu ya hiyo akaniambia mama mimi nitaenda Nairobi nimekuwa hesitant kwenda Nairobi lakini kwa saa hii naona ni kubali niende nitibiwe Nairobi nambo ran mwanange huita hwange ni 50-50 okaloka hwange ni 50-50 lakini i want to tell you this one eda la nori donga mume hono kiao la tawaruo abana bengu baruo lakini neona abana for the longest time sia kwanza ne bahajama if possible you will be commuting from here to busia ndamboran ai mama nefe yonda fa ulende na mafraka ni nreka no akaniambia hapana esende cha mwali prenge rent you can divert it into fare pili akaniambia murin orinde ba mlamuo obama nyire ba datu ningependa sana uwashike mkae pamoja kwa amani tatu akaniambia kuna mtoto hapa anaitwa Shalin ngawaje yako mbali lakini keep in touch tuliongea angekuwa hapa lakini unfortunately ni mgonjwa yuko kwa ward akaniambia pia nataka eh, abundu fulani area batari mao nda hocho rimeo rakeriani i know your program is tight lakini ni mwafunga vikuli wito rime otake oriani yambo reji koni yawe nda haoome nataka ubome nyumba nyumba ya ubome tu hapa mahali pa kwenge pasafi make sure ni, kuna baki kusafi mpaka vile ntarudi unajua nikirudi na kuanga na watu wengi wa kuja kuniona nataka ubome kukwe kusafi akaniambia pia akaniambia akanishukuru akaniambia umekuwa mkifanya kazi kanisani na hata mimi nataka kukushukuru kwa sababu nilifanya harambe ya mwisho mwezi wa nane niliwaita na mlikuja mkachanga lakini siruo sindu silala sia ndekombanga mno mbwe mesa the holy table ndekombanga mbwe ni tula mdala mwange nambo rat mama umsala kuri alwanyao that thing is expensive akasema ni around 65000 lakini abola mbwe ni mutema umsalo kwa mwata munaweza kuwa mmepunguza gharama mtengeneze the holy table so tuliongea hivyo haya tukamaliza yandi ile mihono akanishika mikono zake zote hii tukapitana mikono akaomba ya bora nyasae mbwe mburanga moyo ni kujonga lakini nashukuru Mungu umeniwezesha kuona birthday ya mtoto wa Richard wa nne. Mtoto wa Richard wa nne ameturn 5 years. Akaambia Mungu naona umejaribu kama nimelea wajuku wangu paka the youngest ako 4 year, five years. God you just given me a humble time. Naona moyo inachoka. Mungu naomba ulinde mtoto huyu na umsaidie asimamishe boma lake. Ni hayo mengine pengine yanahitaji familia na akasema kesho nikitoka upigie Kevin simu aje atu, a, a, pamoja na wewe munipeleke kwa airport kweli asubuhi ilifika nikampigia Kevin simu alikuwa bumala na e, hakusita alikuja tukajipanga jio, ke, kesho kutu that was on saturday tukaenda na tatu la mu compound alitoka gari sayo my husband was in a hurry kwa sababu airport uh, ticket ilikuwa ime, inasema sane. so saa 3 na nusu so we were supposed to be there an earlier early akawa anaona time imeenda sana akania aka, akaambia madhea rakisha tuingie kwa gari twende madhea tayola humto kati na handa tula akazunguka nyuma ya nyumba kama mwenye anaenda kwa cho and she really took time until i was worried nikamfuata huko nikapata amesimama nyumba ya nyumba alinganga ari nyumba and the compound ne kama be madhe time inaenda tuende tutachelewa akanishika tena mkono mara ya pili na akaniambia kumbuke kanda hubo orere so hivyo ndo tuliacha tukaingia kwa gari na tukaanza safari tulipoanza safari hivi tukitoka nje ya komba mama yarira alikuwa amekaa na Kevin but Kevin could not realize my mother was a smart mother alikuwa analia kama mtu mwenye anapanguza jasho na amepaka makeups hivi so i'm sure Kevin haku realize but because of what we had talked earlier i was able to realize she was crying 
halilia tukitoka kwa komba tukaenda tulipofika kwa karibu na airport handi acha kuurira akaniingiza baridi lakini nuhuri ambu hule hapo lambu na kadalo hapa ndese ndao ongure ho machi kuunwa nikanua maji ya kunywa tukampatia akaenda nayo akakunywa wakati anaingia wakasema asingie na maji tukarudi kukaa nayo Kevin akaenda kumkilia after Kevin amemkilia handi ahubiri simbo leta maji yako kidogo juu ilikuwa imebaki nikaenda nikampea maji akakunywa basi sasa nao that alikuwa kwa glass huku na huku ya malata mkono kwa huku glass ya ti na mimi nikaweka yangu this side tukakutania kwa glass venye tu saa yako kwa glass yangu na yeye mwisho tunakutania kwa glass na safari yake ninamuombea aende salama ninakuomba mama i know you are going to be an interceder you are going to intercede for us you are an angel kindly pray for us help me keep the covenant we made with you some years back help me take care of your daughters the way you have I've been saying the way you've requested and please pray for my children. I have weak children, wanakuwa wagonjwa, but every time every now and then mom will call me. We we'll even send scriptures, we will even pray over the phone. Akiombea hawa watoto hata saa zingine anasema weka simu kwa kichwa ya JE. Ninakushukuru mama you've been a true mother. You've never been a mother in law to me but a mother. Ninakuachilia uende salama. Na mlango yangu iko wazi. Wale ambao umekuwa mkiingia kwa madhe, mlango bado iko wazi. Mimi bado niko pale. If possible nita commute. Yeyote ambaye anataka kuingia aingie. Yeyote ambaye anataka kuja kuleta malamo kama dhe alamire inge. Mwisho mtula amire. You know ameacha gap kubwa sana tafadhali. Musituache bandu watendere sani mjama. Ni mtula busangira ni vitenge ho. Karibu mutuombe. Santeni sana mungu awalinde nyote. For real, that is a daughter from my other father and mother. Pole mwanefu. Pole. Pole. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina naitu wa Deborah na Hayo. Mimi ndiye last born wa mama. Uh, na nili aliniita mama yake na hayo ne mama si ananga ngarira hapa mama yananga ngasari mama <laughs> sasa mama tumetoka na mbali tumetoka na mbali sana Vila Meskia, she has fought many battles. My mom was a fighter. Alitufunza mengi. Mama nalikuwa mwalimu. Alitusomesha. Tulienda boarding school. Na haku miss hata visiting day. She would come all the way to Lugul Girls to make sure she's present. It was academic day. Whatever it, it was, she was there. My mom was very selfless. Her love language, like I say, was service to humanity. It was so natural. Ata mungeboeka. When it came to serving God and serving humanity, my mom was always ready. Si hasindi handi. Ata ahure hao. Ahure hao. Ati usangrani. Ahure hao ati conference. If it, it meant she needed to rise to the occasion, nothing would stop her. Today we are celebrating you, mom. You've seen us dance. Yesterday we were dancing. We danced so much. We've been dancing. Before mom went to Kenyatta National Hospital, she spent the day dancing. She spent the day dancing and praising the Lord. And therefore, whenever we want to connect with mom, we just dance. But we know what we have been through with our mom. And we know that every time we needed to re re unwind, we would just put on her favorite music and dance and so we have been dancing throughout 
just to honor and celebrate her legacy. I know that by now, Mumanyre Mahabulira, just what kind of a woman she was. My only prayer is that I can be half the woman she was. My mom gave us her name. If you were stranded in Nairobi, for whatever reason, she didn't need to be there physically. She would mobilize a community and you would be covered. And you're in Nairobi and she's here. Kwa hivo nakumbuka nikienda attachment after campus when we needed to go for attachment. She just called me, told me, enda kwa wambia. I went to Wambia, uh, then he was the head teacher of Madende. And I just said, Mimi ni mtoto wa Madam Janet. All you needed to say to introduce yourself, Mimi ni mtoto wa Madam Janet, Mimi ni mtoto wa Auntie Janet, Mimi ni mtoto wa Kuhu Janet. Therefore, her name preceded her, her reputation preceded her. She lived in service to God and to humanity. And in her death, we have seen that legacy come to life. You have, you have been witnesses to the kind of sacrifice everybody has given. I mean, people took leave. Everybody has sacrificed just to be there to send away mom in a befitting way. Mom, you have been a woman and a half. The community knows what you have been up against. You have fought so gallantly, mom. You fought so, mom was in pain. Mother, I make one a pain. She fought that pain. I've never, we watched helplessly. We, we watched helplessly as mom dealt with her pain. And there was nothing we could do for her. No amount of painkillers, the, the, the highest one of them all, could not relieve her of her pain. Yet, Makenda, many people were shocked that mom was dead. Yet, Amesumbukana Nayu Gonjwa for three years. Tangu COVID, as you were told, my mom never came back 100%. After she recovered from COVID, she was pronounced COVID free. Lakini ya donga na complainer. Chest pains here. Mumba fumu no. Mumu kongo no. You know? And doctor said that uh, COVID has after effects. Nua halala corona that your lungs take such a beating for her age that it leaves some effects. Onyalo anyo langa tuni tuni obo. They assumed it's part of corona. But that is what... Uh, you know, advanced. Ikakuwa sasa hiyo uchungu imekuwa uchungu mkali sana. Tumeshugulika na madhe, tumengangana kama watoto wake. Lakini kama wazazi wengi, wenye mko hapa mumanyrembo mkendanga sama mulualanga makenda. Sinivo. Mulualanga makenda, ni baba boda mtia msibitali, muhaya. Si mwenya hutia msibitali haba. Eh? Mubola mri ah vino bila bwasa ni malaria mutia mukula malaria el ne malaria kanona kosika bwetanga iwiki no siri he malaria iwiki itso siri ha han malaria iwiki londa ho hatia mdembo han malaria but mukiambiwa mwende hospitali o tsingombe tiange Vindu biyange vilabi ya mundalo. Tsingo ho, kanisa, huwero huwanda arambe, shuguli. Kwa hivo, that was uh, mama's story. Because of her commitment in the community, mumambiwa kwamba she was part of very many groups. And she was trusted. Most of those groups, she was a treasurer. She would be entrusted with funds because of the transparent nature of hers. Kwa hivo, kwa sababu ya hizo commitments, mama tukachelewa kumfikisha kwa the right hands in terms of hospitali. Kwa hivo, 
vile ziliendelea kwe kweda mama ama mama ya itaho Nairobi haba 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 ndare here wine dala haba 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 ebi ndu viyange rehamberi njake madimwa rehamberi baba ndu parimundalo rehaba male tukamua wacha tupeleke sasa tutafute hospitali huku kweli tukatafuta ma hospitali mama imeenda bungoma na alikuwa naona specialist akienda kwa specialist wa moyo anamwambia kona shida ya moyo anampea dawa ya mo dawa ya moyo na ya uh, specialist wa mgongo anampea dawa ya mgongo akienda kwa specialist wa nerves anampea dawa ya nerves kwa hivyo mama amemeza dawa mingi sana amemeza dawa it's a miracle liva yake bado ilikuwa iko sawa kwa hivyo akatembea akatembea lakini katika hiyo hali ya kukua mgonjwa na kutembea nganyola sana fu ngangwa sana pain killer asikie vizuri ameenda shamba ameenda matanga yenye si hafu anawina busangirani eh <laughs> Kwa hivyo ikafanya tukachelewa maybe mengine gigia tamaliza tukachelewa kidogo kumfikisha kwa specialist ambao labda wangemsaidia Mama katika hali yake ya kuishi amekuwa a peacemaker She could not keep a grudge Kato muko seresi baie Baluo bahamu hulumbus ya Ngamwa na undi onyala wa dira ho grajo ribari ya haba. Bari ya si ukorega na nganabo uwe raba sandi ya mama da. But she was be the first to say, tulayo. Tulayo, tulayo, tulayo. Rehana na vio. Rehana na? Rehana na vio. Kwa hivyo amekua mtu wa kumake peace. Alipenda mungu sana. Kuna vitu wa unge question. But they loved God. Alipenda serving God. Alipenda kutolea mungu. Ange kupigia simu. Yesu wa baraka. Hata kama tumeolewa na tuko kuingine. Baasha yako ya Yesu wa baraka lazima utato? Utatoa. Anasema hubu kurire. Ndinde ibaasha yao ano. Utume kitu. Na anasema vanavange. Anything you give to the church. So hore hupara homo haviri. You give with open arms because that is an inve, an invest. You are lending to God. Kwa hivyo tutazidi kuendeleza hiyo legacy ya mam. Tutazidi kuendeleza zile vitu zenye ali believe in so much. It is a pity mam you have left us now. Just maybe when some of us, just when we were starting, Tunge, tunge wish ukue hapa longer uone ata ukule fruits of your labor because you sacrificed so much a primary school teacher alifanya me, na hakufanyia tu watoto wake maybe vile naongea sijui wenye wamepitia mikono ya mama kama wanaweza punga mikono wenye wako hapa ni wengi sana even in her death, ameacha watoto wawili watatu kwa nyumba. Kwa hivyo, okay. Oh. Just a minute, you continue, please. Even now, bado wako na watoto wamekuwa kisomesha kwa nyumba. At any given time, mother had people she was supporting. And that is selfless of her. Vile alikuwa amelala pale Nairobi tumekuwa tukimtembelea it became so much you know so good it felt so good seeing her hata kama akonerao na haongei na hana life it was so reassuring kumuona akiwa pale na hata hapa alikuwa ame smile to the whole time by the way alikuwa tu ame smile Kwa hivyo leo vile tuko hapa na tunamsindikiza 
tuko na uzuni kwa sababu mtetezi wetu ametua ametuacha lakini haja tuacha peke yetu ametuacha na Mungu na ametuacha na a community na familia na tuna imani kwamba tutasimama ninapomaliza nataka tu ku recognize my colleagues and my friends ambao wamesimama na mimi sana walipo labda wanaweza tu simama wakapunga mkono na maybe uh, mc just 30 seconds I was kicking Luya. Oh, I'm speaking. You know what? I went to Nairobi. Colleagues, oh, we are called Nairobi tribe. Where? Colleagues, colleagues of Deborah. Colleagues, just stand up kindly. We see you and appreciate thank you. you. Thank you very much. To me, Moana, this is Kamam Jatuana. To me, Moana. Thank you very much. Nina Shukuru Sana, and thank you so much for supporting me. Asante ni sana. Nyasae ababarikie. Amen. Thank you. Kevin pasa mali. Nipatie Kevin kwanza. Kevin. You close. God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. My name is Kevin Akinyi. Mimi ni mtoto wa Madam Janet. Sitaongea sana kwa sababu ya huzuni. But before I read my tributes, I have friends from Bumala. Friends from Bumala. I have my church teacher from Bumala, St. Paul's SEK Bumala Church. Madam Millicent, please just wave. Thank you, Mama. Okay, mi nitasoma tribute yangu. As I sit down to pen this tribute, my heart is heavy and bo with both sorrow and gratitude. My mother, my confidant, my guide, and my best friend, who, who always called me mama, left an indelible mark on my life, a legacy of love and wisdom that I'll carry with me always. One of the cherished memories that define our bond is the sacred ritual of our family prayer sessions. Gathered in the cozy embrace of our home, the walls echoed with the echoes of our collective prayers, creating an atmosphere of serenity and unity. Mother, with her gentle yet firm voice, led us through moments of reflection and gratitude. Those prayer sessions not only strengthened our family ties, but also instilled in us the values that would shape our characters. Beyond the spiritual connection we shared, my mother and I were partners in a treasury of stories. Whether it was bedtime tales that trans transported me to magical realms, or accordates from, uh, from her own life, that unfolded like chapters of a captivating novel. She had a gift for waving, weaving words into vivid tapestries of experience. Those stories were more than narratives. They were lessons in resilience, compassion, and the importance of cherishing every moment. Mom, she was not confined to the role of a caregiver. She was my advisor and confidant. Countless evenings were spent in heart-to-heart -heart conversations where she patiently listened to my dreams, fears, and aspirations. Her guidance was like a lighthouse, illuminating the path ahead and offering reassurance even the darkest of times. Education was a cornerstone of my mother values, and her commitment to providing a solid education foundation for us all, including extended family members, was unwavering. She believed that knowledge was the key to unlocking doors of opportunity and empowerment. Her sacrifices and determinations ensure that we receive the best education possible, a gift that continues to shape our lives. In her, 
I found not just a mother, but a beacon of strength and compassion. Her unconditional love created a sanctuary where I could always sol find solace. Even in her absence, the warmth of her love lingers, an enduring flame that guides me through life's challenge challenges. As I bid farewell to my beloved mom, I carry forward the lessons she taught me to be compassionate, resilient, and embrace life with gratitude. Her legacy lives on in the echoes of our prayers, the stories we shared, the education she bestowed upon us, and I'm forever grateful for the gift of having her as my mother, my friend, my advisor, my confidant, mama, my daughter, as you always called me, mom. With love, mom, I release you. Go to heaven, mama, I'll miss you. Thank you. Um, that's my sister. She was named after my mother's mother and whom she loved so much that she gave them, the two of them, the same name. How much love can that be? Mama yari muhai. Mama muluhai luwe ya volangati. Omundu we bere so luhai e omweni. Mama yari ye bere so luhai. She knew how to be a woman. If you have read the Proverbs that one woman She's the woman who wakes up early to fend for her family. She has single-handedly fended for us. My mother, Yarim Kulima, I'm not just saying this. Uh, growing up, fresh and now, through her wisdom, ya me kanga shua. Ingombe ndala. Ni ibule. Ni zia humira. Wala ambu humira. Ni zia humira indi ibula. Kwa nende mavere throughout. Ni mune mavere. Ni indalo indi irimo mabuoni. Esi buoni esi oni siti ya hubwa. Sindi sibani siyanga langa. Ne sindi nga siyanga langa. Miogo kirimu ndalo. Ne mustomu osi. Miogo kirimu. Njabandu ni badire inzala. Mamu wange ande biya hulia. Saba lulalanga bandu wa saba inzala na yaba kabaho. She never once begged. She had notes ya muliani. Ya ndeliani katha. Miro ni kimera haa. Liku bilivani li rusebu hanga kanda au. Yali muhae. Onyala huwe hoera mama. Ni yabu alangati muanange. Oluhae webele somwene. She was organized. You just needed to tell my mother I have visitors. Consider it done. She will organize to the spoon, to the tents, to the people who will cook, to the food. You only needed to show up. If mother was, in, 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 uh, was in, involved in the planning, it is perfect. When we were trying to organize for her funeral, most times we would congregate and tell ourselves, how come we are unable to do this? Mom used to push through these things with so much ease. Mama, Deborah, how will I remember? I university. A call. She just made a call to a certain Muheshmiwa. And I got the job. She just made a call. And I sustained my, uh, my tenure through that company, through her. Every time my contract would expire, she would again just make the call. Until to the, got to a point where I decided I don't want to work here anymore. I want to move to another level. That's when I had to grow up my wings and now sort myself as a grown-up. My mother was a disciplinarian. My mother was a disciplinarian. 
Hapo langa TV ni acha vindu ni mtosera ati. E vindu vino vipangire ringi si vichae. Hizi vyombo zimepanga line ni nini zinapanga kufanya? She made me look like uh, I don't know. My sister was named after her mother. The other sister was named after her mother. My brother was the only son. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> yes. Yes, I was beaten for other people's mistakes. <laughs> and I was made to be responsible at a very young age. And sometimes I would ask mama, why? Why do others have it so easy but me? One day my mama told me, because you have to grow up your muscles. There are times when you will have to make decisions that are not going to be easy decisions. I saw that at her deathbed. She was in my care when she passed on. My mother suffered. I have seen my mother through pain because I was with her during the, ice, uh, the COVID uh, sessions. I saw her go through pain, but this one, this one was tough. I saw her cry. And sometimes I, would, I, would, I wanted to be strong. So I would show up looking so strong. But inside my heart, I was crying. I cried before she died. That's why you're not seeing a tear. Because we would hide ourselves in the toilet where she's not seeing us. And we would sob. You have not seen a mother so s s relentless in her strength to the level that she has given up, she wants to die. It's the least, it's the worst thing you want to see. From a woman who's shown so much strength. Mamangu amekua manamuke ananguvu. Just to mention, maybe, they suspect that he had cancer at an advanced stage. And I called a friend of mine who's a doctor, and I explained to him the situation, and he told me, if mom has survived strange, uh, that kind of pain from stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, to the last moment that she's dying and she had never been admitted, not once, that level of strength, I don't know. But growing up, I remember, if you will be sick, na wambie mama mini mgonjwa, anakuambia, chobu kule msala, bukule pana dolomire, Na mala tu labu wao. Otima then, mi ni mugonjo na naacha nkazi nyuma. Anasema, na ukimu, iyo kichwa ikipoa, uoshe hizo vyombo, uende shambani, utoe maindi. Nikauliza mama, mtu ni mugonjo hata umurumi. Ati na wesori ibula. Na wesori ibula. We utaza. Kwa ni hii pain kidogo ya kichwa unalia? Uluwa langa sisacha. Olua langa siganda. Olua langa koti muhasi. Ni alu ya aluarire. Ya aluarire nge na akenda. Alua ala na atia mdalo. Hwa, mwisho kabla uh, uh, the, uh, the disease took a, took a toll on, he, on her. We were doing some projects with her. Sometimes na mtumia pesa kidogo na muambia wafanya kitu fulani. Ya organize watu wafanya. Ni mubira isi mujioni ati. Ah, Grace, nda haonga mdalo? Elano si mbure vila inda havi tiraha daktari. Daktari we thank you. Daktari Bernard Muyodi. Nda havi tiraha daktari. Vanjo mehe sindani. Presha ivere ininire. Mama luala. Nate halamdalo. Idere silamba. Mupa sukumu biranga wa nasuda nde stuli. Ama nejanga imbole ya yae. Yenyanga humeka shomba niva vereva rimanga wakanga vila i. Mama niva harake katamikati. Na aviramo, aluala, yekasa, aerangeru, ata na umubira isimu, she's struggling. Na kini abolanga, ati, ndahara, nore hevi ndi vino vina vya grace, paka so obeo. Vili sambo obeo mwene. Mama yangu alikuwa na strength, wanasema the strength of a woman. It is not just a tale, but my mother's strength, it's, it is one that you cannot, it's unparalleled. My mother was second to none. She braved cancer to the point of her death. She didn't even know she had it. She was still fighting for her life. I have not seen one like her. Even when she, we recognized, and most times the reason we were crying 
is because we realized she was going through so much and she didn't want us to know. Most times when you called her, she would be like, Rehera sanya sai. Moranga mama, oluala. Orirote atava hurehere sanya sai binabwa. Mahua kama makari thing sakanya sai. Grace we fumi anganya sai. Ohore nanga bindu yosi munya sai. Ngaba mureva na wetangao. Atuona rehera hosi na bana. Na bolati ah. Mano esemba rehere sande yesu. Wadonge nde yesu. Kwa wala huri nyasae nya wa mama ya ala mirengi. Nyasae oyo. Kwa mlama. Lakini siya kanya mama. Siya kanya mama ya ame nyahaba. Nelano ni ndewa nyasae. Sikira ni huu lama. Noreha mama nati ya mungira ifana irini sina. Lakini. Acts 13. I think it's Acts 13. 26 or the other way around. Ibo langba idaudi ni ya hama laikasi yae. Yakona. When David had finished his work, his purposes on the world, he slept. My mother went through so much pain, and I told God, my, my God, your people don't die, they sleep. My mother cannot die. She will not die in pain. So we went to pray, and I was praying, my mother will not die, my mother will sleep. My intention was that she will, she will come out of ICU and she will live the days that God had allowed her to live and then it, at old age, she would sleep. But maya mungu ni mengi. Wakamweka ICU na wakasedet. Walipo msedet alilala. Na vile tu nilikuwa nimeomba mungu, akwamba atalala, mama angu alilala kwa usingizi na hako wa mukatena. Alilala akiwa ame smile na akalala hivo hivo. She has gone to rest. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for the people who have stayed with the course with us. The people from Nairobi, we thank you. Watu wapa nyumbani tunawashukuru wakanisa. The many calls you made, sometimes we would not even receive them because we were overwhelmed. We just want to say thank you. Mumesimama na sisi, mumetutia nguvu hadi sasa hata wengine bado wako wapa nyuma. Tutawashukuru sana. Na tunasema mungu waendeleshe ile kazi mama alianza. Hata kama ni kupitia kwetu ama kupitia kwa mwingine. Kwa sababu Dawudi ali hand over the mantle. Na mama yangu kabla aende Nairobi alikuwa me hand over. Alichukua vitu za kanisa kuna wale alipea. Ali hand over. Kama ulichukua hiyo mantle tunasema ufanye kama Elisha ufanye double ile mama alifanya. Thank you so much. Uh, Mutani allow to daka moja. Um, I will recognize my colleagues who are here. I know you are far off, but we, I just want to express my gratitude to you and say thank you for coming all the way. I know you didn't have to, but you're here. We thank you. There's, uh, there's uh, um, my, she's supposed to be my sister-in-law, but I can't call her my sister-in-law because she stayed the course and become, became my mother when I needed a mother. My uh, Auntie Reverend Rhoda, just say a word. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah uh, jinsi mlivyosikia mimi naitwa Reverend Rhoda Sianga. Uh, mmoja wao watoto ambao mama amelea. Jana nilikuwa na nafasi mzuri ya kusumuza mengi. Nimekuwa na baraka ya kuwa na mama siku za mwisho. Mama alipoingia Nairobi siku ya Jumamosi. Uh, nilipata habari siku ya Jumapili lakini nilikuwa nyumbani. Niliporudi Nairobi uh, nilipata simu yake. Siku ya ijumane, sa sita ya usiku. Mama aliniambia ya kwamba ni na maumifu sana. Lakini wale wanajua langata penye naishi, na kikuyu kwenye gresa naishi, ni mbali. Licha ya hayo ni kwa nyumba peke angu, ilikuwa ngumu. Niliomba na mama kwa masikio, ni kamuambia ni tamuchukua kesho yake. Kesho yake, gresa alibeba mama, akampeleka kikuyu, levo ha, levo, eh, kiambu, levo, eh, levo five hospital. Tulikutana huko, lakini hatu kupata usaidisi wa kutosha. Tukaanza safari ya kupeleka mama Kenyata. Nataka kushukuru sana shemeji yetu, uh, Baba Hans, ambaye ni mme wake uh, Debra. Alikuwa msaada sana kupata daktari mkubwa wa kifua wa Kenyata, Dr. Andrew Owori. Lakini Andrew alipoangalia test za mama, akangalia x-ray za mama, hakududanganya. Ha, 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 Alinuonyesha, atuonyesha wazi ya kwamba 
hali ya mama si mzuri lakini alitaka sana tumpeleke either Nairobi hospital ama Mata hospital we are not prepared for that kisha akafanya the first aid na akatuambia twende na mama nyumbani tuleze other desk kesho yake mama hakulala vizuri kesho yake tena tulikuwa Kenyata tukingangana na mama tukampeleka kwa daktari uh, jioni tukapata kitanda mama alilazwa lakini katika hali hiyo aliendelea kudhovika sana Mama alizofika ilichukua tu siku moja kwa ward mama akapelekwa ICU. Katika ICU mama alianza ku fight for her life. Alikuwa mnyonge sana. Nakumbuka nikienda ICU kumuona nilijaribu kuficha uso wangu lakini alisikia sauti yangu. Na akasema oyoni na hauka. Nikasema ndio. Akasema otio otio mno. Si kupenda picha yake. Nilikuwa na dada yangu Dr. Bella na Mango. Nikamwambia Bella mi naenda kaa kule nje nataka uongee na huyo daktari uniambie nini nafanyika hapo kweli bela alienda kuona daktari na akakuja akaniambia roda hebu enda uambie mama yako rafiki yako umsalamie kwa mkono alafu tuende nyumbani jumapili hiyo nilisalamia mama kwa mkono na nikaenda nyumbani lakini saa 12 grace alipigia simu akasema anti come back thank you thank you profos uh, reverend uh, Niliporudi nilipata sasa wakifanya hiyo inter intuition intubation na mama alikuwa katika hali ya maututi na tuka give up wadaktari walipotuona hali yetu walitufukuza Monday we still came back but mom was no longer in pain she was as good as dead so tuliporudi nyumbani saa sita ya usiku tena tukaitwa tukarudi kwa hospitali tukapata mama ameaga watu wamesema maneno mengi mazuri nataka kusema huyu mama ni peacemaker na Matthew chapter 5 verse 9 says blessed are the peacemakers they will be called the children of God. So we are dealing about a child of God who has gone to be with the Lord. All the good things you did for us we thank God and we thank you. You have been my confidant. You have been a, a, so a shoulder for me to lean on. You have been the godmother of my children. You have trusted me even with your daughters. I've said with both your daughters, your daughters in Nairobi. Uh, after school you told me sit with your sister in law and know what kind of persons they are thank you very much mama for the time you have been on earth you have lived for many and we cannot pay anything it's only to thank god that you have left a legacy that cannot be overlooked god bless you and for grace and the uh, group the children i just want to tell you the good things that mom did while she lived on earth <laughs> Fix your, your eyes on them. Embrace them. Do the way she did. And then mom will live on. And for us who connected so closely with your mother, we shall be there Amen. when you need us. Oreo, and God ma. bless you. Oreo. Now, we better end. Kata kubole si kukusi alabu kakap. Nakandolaza kukalokirangam. Richard, it's your turn. We know you are supposed to cry. Lakini kata kubole si kabwele. Uh, kanisa andalizi padris waheshimiwa ambao wako mali hapa wakristo wote kwa jumla hamjambo hamjambo tena salamu za mama janet tafadhali uh, niko hapa na ndugu yangu mkubwa kabla niongee ningeomba kidogo awasalimie Kanisa takatifu Mheshimiwa nimemuona pale na wambolezo wenzangu wengine na mjambo Nilikuwa hapa wali nikasema neno moja tu ya kwamba mama tunamuombea Mungu amlaze mali pema peponi Niko na mengi ya kusema lakini sababu ya muda Ntawachia ndugu yangu mdogo aendele. Asante. Ah uh, kabla ni, niongee ningependa kusihi wale colleagues, my workmates, wale tunafanya nao kazi from mechanical division wametoka all the way from Bungoma. Kwa hivyo ningependa waje mbele, mbele hapa waweze kuevu na mkubwa yangu aweze kunena dakika moja tafadhali with due respect no please let them come 
My name is Engineer John Olo, and I've come to grieve the family of Richard. He's one of us. And with me is a team from Bungoma and also Busia. Uh, we, work, we work in the State Department for Roads, Mechanical and Transport Division. So I don't know if it is okay. They just say their names or what? Uh, just wave. Okay, they will just wave. Uh, we just say Paula to the family. We work with Richard and uh, he's one of us. Losing a metric in the family is not an easy thing and uh, it's such a big blow. We cannot say that we know how you feel. It's only you that knows the vacuum that has been left up. And we pray that you have the grace and strength to bear the loss. Poleni sana. Uh, pele, uh, niko na mama wazazi wangu. Popote pale walipo, najua wamekua hapa. Wakatoa rambi rambi zao. Please, mujisikia nyumbani. Nime, nime waona, mume shugulika na mume simama na mimi. Right from my brother-in-laws and sister-in-laws, tangia tupoteze mama. You've been uh, of great importance, mume simama na sisi. Nasema asante. Muendeleze upendo kwa watu wengine tena. Ah nikija straight kwa maisha ya mama. Tumekaa na mama sana kwa muda mrefu. Mimi ndio kijana mkubwa na kwa bahati mzuri nimekuwa karibu na mama. Kibarua nimefanyia karibu na nyumbani. Kwa hivyo muda mwingi nimekaa na mama. Nitasema na muelewa sana na vile vile ananielewa zaidi. Uh, nikitaja machache. Mama kama mama mzazi, kama mkaaji, kuna mambo mengi ambayo amefanya. Mama ametuonyesha kwamba ukarimu ni kitu kizuri sana. Vile unavyotoa ndivyo unabarikiwa zaidi I want to confirm from where I stand kwamba nyumbani chai ilikuwa kwa meza throughout kwa thamos wale wametembea nyumbani kumuona mama hata kwa kitanda mama angekumbusha ongwerehe chai otatula nota rira kumudala mno mama was generous was a giver Na hivyo ametuonyesha hivyo hivyo kama watoto yake. Cha pili mama has been a visionary leader. Mumesikia ako kwa chama tofauti tofauti, ako kwa committees tofauti tofauti na kwa hizo vitengo zote alikuwa anapewa nafasi ya kuhudumu. Kama mweka hazina, kama secretary Na alikuwa analeta mchango wa maana sana wa kukuza hizo vitengo. Wale wameserve na mama they can bear me witness kwamba mama siku zote alikuwa mwingi wa maono. Ungekaa na mama muda, muda mchache utoke bila wasia. I'm saying this for those who were close to mama. They can affirm and confirm that. Ya tatu, Made amekua selfless. Alipenda mtu mwingine sana kumuliko yeye. Hivo ni kumanisha kwamba, angekua na chochote. Angehisi ya umpe mwenzake na ya baki bure. Kama watoto hata sa zingine tulikuwa nasema, hey, Mam. Oyela kukula mkati mama numuluae asikunyo chai bila escort. Na hiyo mkate badala itumie ataitoa. Watu ama wageni waitumie na ya baki bure. Hiyo ni example kubwa sana kuonyesha kwamba mama alimpa alichukua interest za watu wengine akaziweka mbele kumuliko yeye mwenyewe. Kupata watu wa aina hiyo sio raisi ni wachache mno so mama has been selfless 
wengi madada zangu wameongea hapa allow me to repeat kidogo tu mimi ndio kijana namba mbili kwa boma nyumbani lakini siku zote tumeishi na cousins na wengine marafiki ungejua tofauti hata kufika nyumbani sasa kujua tofauti ya maid mwenye analipwa mshahara na mtoto ya mama haunge tofautisha mama aliwaweka wote kwa same level we want to appreciate that for mama even in his death in her death nataka kushukuru sana kwa kuwa na moyo wa kipekee maana sio wote wameumbwa namna hiyo nikitoka hapo nataka kwenda kwa kanisa nitakuwa mfupi maana kanisani wengi wamesema they have eulogized vile mama amefanya mimi nataka kusema mama alikuwa committed and she was devoted to christianity mama angetoka nyumbani asubuhi bila kunywa chai na shinda akamtumikie Mungu kanisani arudi saa 12 devotion of the highest order wengine hata mass iki, ikielekea saa sita, wengi wanachoka wanasema wanasikia njaa wanahisi njaa kurudi nyumbani mama yangu tulijua jumapili haikuwa siku yake ya chakula angeshinda kanisani wale wamekaa na mama from the Ndokia church or seeking a parish they can confirm that vile mama wengine wote wamesema nataka kuungana nao kama familia kwamba malengo ya mama aliyoyataka yaliyoyataka yatimizwe pale kanisani ama throughout her life nini christian life we want to affirm that from where we sit kwamba tutafanya kadri ya uwezo wetu Nikitoka hapo nataka kwenda kwa sickness ya mama. Vile nimesema mimi ndiye nimekuwa karibu na mama siku zote. Iwe ni kwenda Mundembo dispensary, ni mimi nilikuwa napeleka mama. Iwe ni kwenda Bungoma, Eldoret, Kakamega, Kisumu, nimetembea na mama. We've journeyed together through the sickness of my mom. Mama amefanyiwa tests zote. Mama amepewa madawa yote. Lakini yote tisa hayakumkuamua kutoka kwa kitanda cha mauti. Mama has been diagnosed by ulcers. Mama has been diagnosed by arthritis. Mama has been arthritis ni diagnosed na pneumonia and on top of all alikuwa na covid. By 2020 before 2020 mama alishi maisha mazuri sana she was a strong woman but baada kukua affected na covid na kwa bahati mzuri Mungu akamsaidia aka akapona akatoka ICU akarudi nyumbani hapo ndio shida za mama zilianzia mama lived weakling since then Tulifikiria mama anatibiwa atarudi lakini kumbe yote haikuwezekana Tunge mama angekuita Richard kuja nyumbani unipeleke hospitali sisikii vizuri Ukikuja kweli unasikia mama tumbe inamuuma kabisa Ukifika naye hospitali kwa specialist Kama ni tumbo tulikuwa tunaenda kwa tumbo specialist wa tumbo vile mama anaeleza daktari anaona kabisa hii ni ulcers. Anampa madawa, wanapima, wanampa madawa tunanunua. Tukirudi nyumbani badala hiyo dawa isaidie mama ipo imutulize. Ilikuwa hata inawasen. Ama angetulia siku mbili na shida ile irudi. The next time ukikuja unasikia mama anasema ni mgongo. Mnaenda kwa specialist wa mgongo. Wana rule out hiyo ni arthritis wanamwandikia madawa anapewa mkirudi nyumbani tofauti hakuna next time utasikia anaenda hospitali kifua wanafanya ultrasound wanafanya CT scan wanasema ni pneumonia 
mnanua the most expensive and drugs zile mnafikiria zitasaidia mama i used to say kwa kwa, kwa chemist kuna generic drugs na kuna original drugs please munipatie original drugs pasipo kujali pesa hata kama ni expensive huwa nasema original drugs are expensive we were giving mama the best and the best care haikuwezekana mama ametabika hiyo muda wote mwisho tukaenda bungoma kuna daktari anaitwa Naikuni a cardiolo- a cardiologist we were referred to that doctor na dr Mulianga who is our cousin here Ma- akafanywa test ikatumwa south africa for three days wakati results lerudi walisema mama ako na miliary tb na hiyo miliary tb ilikuwa imesambaa mwili mzima na ilikuwa imeingia imetoka kwa kifua imeingia kwa bloodstream and that is the reason hiyo ilikuwa hiyo virusi ilikuwa inazunguka kwa, kwa mwili through the blood vessels ikifika kwa tumbo unasikia analia tumbo inamuma ikifika kwa kifua anasema ni kifua ikifika kwa mgongo anasema ni mgongo so atukuchoka we proceeded to kind of Eldoret uh, Eldoret Eldoret hospital We were referred to a certain doctor through our cousin hapa Dr. Undigo of which I want to believe maybe yuko mali hapa na sisi. Huyo daktari pia ka insist kufanya his own investigations sababu kama daktari hakutaka ku kwa information ya mtu mwingine. Wakati results lerudi after hiyo hiyo CT scan bado aliconfirm it was miliary TB wakatutuma to the nearest government hospital hivyo tulikuja bungoma tukaanza matibabu that is one month ndipo sa mama kufe sisi wote kama familia tulifurahi tukasema hey all along for this imo the almost 10 years eh atukua sure ni nini inasumbua mama sasa tumejua tukasema tuta direct all energies towards kusaidia mama ku heal through ETB Tulianza matibabu aka last for one month lakini pain ya mama haikuwa ishuka chini Hadi madaktari wa Bungoma wakasema we've given the best care Hatujui ni kwa nini pain ya mama haisubside All TB patients who anakuwa na pain but after two, two weeks after wamekuwa subject to medication in two weeks time ho na respond imekuwaje mama yake ime persist daktari wakasema we've given the best we can sasa mtafute tena wale wanatushinda kidogo another consultants walikuwa na refer kwa daktari mwingine bungoma so nili coordinate na my sisters from Nairobi nikawaambia hapa naona hawa madaktari wamesema they have done their best meaning they are limited now What do we do? Tuka suggest tuteleke mama Nairobi. This time round mama hakukataa. Nafikiri ugonjwa ilikuwa imemsukuma sana. Akaitikia tukafanya arrangements za kwenda Nairobi. Mimi nikampeleka paka hadi airport sababu hakuwa na nguvu ya kukaa. Initially nilifikiria nitampeleka Nairobi. Akasema hana nguvu ya kukaa kwa gari hadi Nairobi. Nikampeleka Kisumu kwa airport nikamwacha hapo. Akapanda ndege akafika Nairobi mwenyewe. Na, na akanipigia akapiga simu kama bado niko Kisumu hata sijafika nyumbani Ma, e, tumefika hata madada zako ndio hawa hapa wamenichukua tunaenda kwa nyumba nikashukuru nilichukua siku kama mbili kabla nifuate ni, ni au Nairobi mama tulikuwa tunaongea nao vizuri complications zilianza pindi tu mama alipofika Nairobi that is the time mama alibadilika na ka, one event unfolded to the other hata mimi nikastuka nikasema heri ningekaa na mama hapa nyumbani tuendange munde mtu tukirudi tukimuona eh? wakati ali change akaenda na madada zangu kule Nairobi wakabuka appointment na daktari pale Doctors Plaza Kenyatta National Hospital daktari akaona mama wakati aliona mama alianza ku cancel the first consultant Alianza ku cancel akasema hii haiwezi kuwa TB. Walichukua sputum hapana. 
ikiwa TB hawezi ku last more than 2 years alianza ku cancel those statements na kwa bahati mbaya alisema hii kuna uwezekano kuwa ni lung cancer in affect mama daktari aliongea hayo maneno akiwa kwa meza pamoja na mgonjwa mimi nataka kutuma kufikiria kwamba mama alisikia yale maongezi ya daktari na mama akapoteza tumaini kutokea siku ile mahali pale wewe na mimi tunajua hata saa hizi mtu akiniambia niko na kansa na najua kabisa hakuna akiwa hakuna hakuna measures hakuna curative measures za kusaidia kupona kansa hata yale malengo nilikuwa nataka kufanya the next two years or two months sitafanya nitaanza kukufa spiritually and i want to guess that is what happened to my mom kutoka hapo mama alienda mbio sana the next event ya kwenda kuona daktari walipima oxygen levels za mama zikapatikana hako 76 badala ya 90 and above huyo daktari aka recommend mama awekwe kwa kitanda for admission wakati mama aliwekwa admission wakamtafutia oxygen ya 15 liters per per hour or per day eh hiyo ilishindikana waka improvise nyingine wanaita ventilator ya kumwekea 100 liters mashini inaonesha oxygen ina run na hapa chini mama anangangana hapati hewa The, the same day kabla ishe wakamtoa kwa hiyo kitu wakamuleta kuna kitu inaitwa in, in, in implantation ya kumsaidia aweze kupumua hadi kwa lungs wakati waliweka huyo mama kwa hiyo kitu daktari alitwita kwa kitu inaitwa family conference akatuambia amefanya kazi ya udaktari miaka mingi with her, his experience imeonyesha mama ako na kansa na mama akiweka kwa kansa hata akiweka kwa hiyo machine possibility ya kurudi iko chini daktari hata alikuwa anatoa advice kama watoto wa mama to sign awekewe hiyo kitu maana itatuweka kwa gharama ya kulipa hospital bill iende juu na bado mama yangu atakufa lakini kama ni wewe na mimi imefika mama yako ana, anatafuta oxygen ameshindwa option ni muamuweke hiyo machine imsaidie kupumua utaweza kata we signed that thing ingawa tulikuwa tumekuwa prepared kwamba mama will not survive na kweli after that thing kumwekea wakasema lazima wamfanyie sedation because hiyo kitu iko irritating na kupitisha kufikisha kwa lungs huwezi pitisha kama mtu anaona wakamfanyia sedation mama yangu akawa half dead na baada alikuwa nasumbuka kidogo finally wakamwekea dosi ya kulala kabisa Mama yangu alilala helplessly for two days tukiwa hapo tunakuja kumwangalia hakuna kitu tunaongea na yeye atufanyie chochote the last day siku ya tatu tulienda pale na mzee na madada zangu na kila mtu na wale familia wa Nairobi wote wa Sikinga village and all relatives na neighbors tulikuwa pale mama asubuhi tunashika mikono sisi wale si madaktari Unashika mkono unaona ikiwa na warmth kidogo unajua huyu hako na life. Tunashika miguu tunaona. Tukirudi saa kumi, mama miguu ni baridi, mikono ni baridi. Na mimi my conscience ikaniambia mama ametuacha. Nikaanza kutafuta daktari. Please come and ascertain the real situation vile kuko hapa. Sisi tunaona mama ni kama amepotea. What are you what is your take? Akasema sisi tunajua kama madaktari mama bado ni mzima nani nani ba ako kwa critical condition so wakati tulienda na jamu ya Nairobi tumengangana na jamu ya Nairobi hadi nyumbani tukifika nyumbani tunapata sasa a distress call rudini haraka we are trying to resuscitate your mother tukifika hospitali mama alikuwa ameenda so mama died akatuacha bila communication bila chochote kila aliambia mama yangu mdogo ni kwamba nimewawachia Yesu. That is the information. 
from where we sit as a family tunajua mama ame battle amekuwa na pain na uh, amegonjeka na siku yake ilifika kama kuna mkono wa binadamu uliusika sisi hatujui basi Mungu ndiye atafanya nini atajibu but we, we had loved mama na Mungu akampenda sana mwisho Mr MC my elder brother tafadhali wacha nimalize kwa hii safari ya mama peke yetu hatungeweza nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kuwashukuru wale wote ambao wameoffer a helping hand through mawaidha through pesa nataka kusema asanti allow me to single out a few tumekuwa na mheshimiwa wetu wa ward mama Yunis na Menya Wandera amekuwa msaada sana kila wakati amekuwa anapiga simu kujua hali ya mama ametusaidia kifedha kimawazo hizo shughuli zote tumekuwa pamoja ya pili tumekuwa na mheshimiwa MP pale Nairobi ya coordinate the digital forum plus physical planning pale Nairobi wamehusika sana na kwa that maana alikuwa amempenda mama kama nyanya yake hospital bill na kuleta mwili kutoka Nairobi hadi hapa ilikuwa ni kazi kubwa sana kama familia peke yetu hatungeweza tungewachia hadi hatungekuwa hapa siku ya leo wametusaidia sana we want to acknowledge watoto wetu hapa kina Hudson Marion wote wale wame coordinate treasurer the digital forum nataka kusema asanteni sana we lack words hatuna kitu tunaweza wapea kama shukurani bali ni kuachia Mwenyezi Mungu awajalie na, na, na azidishe pale zilitoka hapa nyumbani tumekuwa na committees zenye zimekuwa zina run matanga abamenya na ndaba mudiru abamenya ni bakosie zaidi kubera unani mukasi abamenya abamudiru bakosie zaidi kubera by extension khana ibabera binda mama zaidi tumeshughulika na wao wametusaidia kwa njia zote all coordinations financial na kila kitu wamefanya wamejitoa we are not taking it for granted nataka kusema asanteni sana na yeyote yule alihusika kwa kazi ya mama nataka kusema azidishiwe maradufu i want to say thank you go well mama rest is tutakutana we loved you so much as a family thank you rio richard yes sir Daktar Uh, kanisa takatifu ya SK na makanisa zote ambao zimekongamana hapa wa Kristo wote na watu wote ambao wamekuja nachukua nafasi hii kuwasalimia katika jina la Bwana Hamjambo Hamjambo tena Mimi kwa majina naitwa Roger Swafula Mimi ndio nilikuwa bwana wa mwenda zake na kabla sijasema neno ah kabla sijasema neno kabla sijasema neno niko na mama mzazi na batswe 
mimi nimezaliwa na mama na basi ako pale amekaa kwa nini yote kwa baridi yote akilia mtoto wake na basi yuko hapo kama kwa sab... Katika hali hiyo nataka kuambia ya kwamba tulioana mwaka wa 1970 1979 Disemba 15 Tuliishi na siku ya sisi kukutana mimi kukutana na mwenzangu huyu Nilimwambia point bulanga ya kwamba mimi naishi na watoto wengi ikiwa wewe huna roho ya kuishi na watoto usikubali ile ombi ambayo naomba tuishi pamoja kwa sababu mimi napenda kuishi na watoto nilikuwa na watoto wakisimama hapa sasa ni watu wazima lakini walikuwa wadogo sana kule Busia alikubali katika hali hiyo Tulianza kuishi na huyu mama vizuri sana. Tuliishi tukisaidiwa na wale wenzetu ambao walitaka kutusaidia wakiwemo niliwaambia jana mama Rosa, Samson na James mwishowe mzee ambaye ni padri na mke wake waliingia walikuwa marafiki tena walimu. Tuli extend maisha yetu. Mwingine alisema ile boma ambayo mmeona tulikuwa na ngombe 25 ambazo ni zetu. Mwanamke ambaye hana mkono wa kuweka vitu, ukiweka ngombe inakufa, lakini alikuwa ukiweka inakuwa. Zikawa ngombe hizo. Kijana ambaye amesimama karibu na mimi kwenda shuleni ngombe ilikuwa zinatoka tu na naenda kusoma ndio huyu yeye alikuwa lalamiki katika kuishi na watu wengi hivyo tukaishi na wazungu mkiangalia katika kijizabo hiki page 4 mtaona picha ambayo tulipigwa na watoto wazungu kutoka Ireland that was kwa ajili yake mengi mmeambiwa pengine naweza kukorekt mahali kidogo na watu walisema bila kujua siri ya mke na mume pengine wanajua vizuri sana kuliko mtu wa nje mimi mwenzangu huyu mambo ya kusema setani kusema nini sitaki kuleta setani katika maisha nataka kusema ya kwamba nilikuwa na msimamo mzito vile Abraham alikuwa na msimamo. Ameambiwa na Mungu, nenda uchinje mtoto wako. Angeshirikiana na dada, dada hangekubali kwa sababu alikuwa mtoto wa pekee. Alifanya hivyo mwenyewe. Katika msimamo huo, tarehe saba, mwezi wa saba, mimi mimi na watoto wangu nataka kuambia Eh Luseno ukiwa pale simama wa kuone wewe unaitwa Luseno. Na hayo simama pale. Tulikuwa na ushirika maridadi nyumbani. Wakapika ugali saa nane usiku tukakulia pamoja. Mama akasema maneno ni mengi ninaomba msamaha. Tukaanza upya. Wengine kama mjui it was not your concern. Bati sisi wenyewe tulijua. Safari ya kwenda Nairobi ingekuwa mbaya sana. Ningekuwa kwamba na mama hatuelewani haingekuwa rahisi. Mnajua hivyo. Lakini mimi kwenda Nairobi mambo ikawa rahisi. Alikuwa ameharibu sura akaanza kutabasamu. Yes. Mama huyo wakati wa kumtoa mochari mengine angetokea huyu mtoto Duseno angekufa sijui nini ikawa anafikiria mambo iko tayari kumbe yako na certificate ambayo natakikana kabla ya kurilizi hiyo 
nothing can be processed. Huyo mtoto aliendesha gari kama mchawi. Nairobi anaenda hivi kinyoka nyoka. Na saa zimeenda. Lakini tuenda shukurani kwa mtoto anaitwa Kevin. Akarukia kwa basiki, kwa nini? Kwa pikipiki kwenda huko. Na hauka naye ameenda kitambo. Niseme nini? Watoto ambao ni wajukuu wangu. Mambo ambayo mnaona mazuri haya. Msingi ulijengwa na huyu mzee mwenye kusimama huyu. Tulifanya kazi na mikono yetu. Na hiyo kazi imeleta hapa na Malanga. Hakuna tofauti. Wa Malanga wananipenda, wa hapa wananipenda, ba, entire bamenya wananitambua. Lakini kifo na adui vile padri mnapenda kusema the last adui ni kifo kimenipokonya huyu. Mkiangalia nyumba iliyojengwa Ilijengewa yeye na ilikuwa itengenezwe kwa ajili ya huyu lakini sasa angalia Mama amekuja hapa mtoto wake akisema watoto wale ambao walikuwa watu ambao walikuwa naingia kwa mama sasa watakuja kuingia kwake that is out Watoto ambao waliwachwa kwa nyumba hiyo vile mtu alisema tutafanya bidii wakae kwa nyumba hiyo na waendelee kusoma ikiwezekana tulifanya hivyo mara nyingine na yeye mtoto aendelee kuwalinda na walindie mahali anapofikiria ni pazuri. Sijui nitasema nini. Watu wamesema mambo yote. Lakini nataka kuwashukuru kanisa. Kanisa letu la Anglican. Asante kuja kwenu kwa wingi. Mothers Union. Kazi mliyofanya ilionekana. Wajukuu wangu kila mahali walifanya kila kitu. Na hata hivyo. Eodo Jimmy andikwa Sitaki kurudia ambaye imeandikwa kwa eolojia lakini nashukuru huyu huyu amejifanyia mambo mwenyewe sio mimi hata tulikuwa na nyuki hatari nyumbani nyuki nataka kushukuru mtoto wangu ambaye ni padri ndugu yake msichana wangu ambaye ni katala alipanda kwa nyumba hiyo na ujuzi amejivalia wa ndugu zanguni nyuki ni hatari usicheze na huyo mtu wali uwa nyuki yote hakuna hata moja mlio kwenda nyumbani mmeona nani aliumwa na nyuki eh hey. kwa hivyo mkae hapa mkijua ya kwamba mama amejifanyia kazi yake hata mimi mambo ambayo anasema mnasikia mtu ambaye anaitwa Moses Moses alikuwa mpendwa wa Mungu lakini kilichomfanya kuacha bibi yake si kuacha lakini aliongeza mwingine dada yake Miriam na walicheka wakasema lakini Mungu alisema acheni hiyo maneno hii ni mambo ya kando kazi ambayo najua na sauti ya huyo mtu namjua. Kwa hivyo mimi bado ni Rogers yule yule. Mimi bado ni wakusaidiana na wenzangu. Mimi bado ni wakutaka maisha yaendelee. Aba huebange. Aba huebange. Bado mimi ni mtoto wenu. Wote ambao wako huko msionione nikiingia mkafunga milango. Hakuna siku mlinifungia. Nataka kusema nafasi hii ya kwamba vile Mungu ameleta mambo ikaonekana vile alivyo na m, e, Mungu ameamua dada aende mapema hatuna kizuizi lakini kusema kweli wajukuu wangu ongeta uko wapi simama huyo ni mjukuu daktari wa madaktari ondigo hapo kwa wapi Amekuja ama hakuja? Ni daktari wa eh ako. Kuja wa kuone, ndio huyo. Hao ni madaktari ambao ni ndani kabisa. Kwa hivyo mama alipita kwao. Adi Teresa tu kama nyoka nyoka akaingia kaburini. Tuachie Mungu kazi yake, si ndio? 
Bye, that's the fee. Thank you very much. Can I watch him school? What do you know? Now, we hand over to the church to deal with the world and, the and, and heaven. Say who you are. Who, who have you been? Yes. Who is you? <laughs> okay. Eseba nanga gabar mudiyanga ekesa ndu mudiru hurula busiano dame nyabungoma mwakau raka ndi kuholanga kumsiyalo kanya sa ya ya kuchamira. We appreciate and thank God for what we do. Thank you very much. O kufwa ndi kanya sa si ndi kama doctor kab. Tusimame kwa wimbo wa kukaribisha kanisa na sister and chief aje tusemezani. She mwe she kango mundota no mwami wa hufirira wea mirobu na mwe na rujira mabangake yesu no muhulu shiro Mwenze nyobu, menyangamu, no luandalwe, jumba shehuo. Tuketi. Padre wetu hapa Mbunge wetu Mlanya alie hapa Mweshimua Yunis Wandera Wa Kristu wa area hii Mungu ni mwema Na kila wakati Poleni sana mimi kwa majina Na ito muandisi Odilo Wafula Speaker wa County ya Busia Nimekuja hapa kuleta rambi rambi zangu wa mama. Miezi tatu iliyopita mama alinipigia simu. Akaniambia kuja Madivo ilikuwa buyofu kwa SK kanisa. A very jovial heart. Mtu mchangamufu, mtu mwenye hekima. Tukoongea na siku jua hii maisha inaweza kuwa hivi. Miezi tatu imepita ndio huyu mama amelala. Hiyo inamaanisha sisi wote ni wapita njia. Kwa hayo tumekuja kusema kushindikisha mama na kushukuru Mungu kwa maisha yake. Pili kama speaker wa bunge ya Busia ningependa kusema mawili. Moja ni kuwa jana tumepitisha supplementary budget yetu ya Busia kwa hivyo sasa county haezi sema haina pesa. Tunataka vitu zile zimepangwa katika hii area especially chini ya Mama Yunis zifanywe. Mama Yunis nafikiri anakaa katika katibu ka, katika hiyo committee ya budget na kuna vitu wamepanga. Mwaka jana hii serikali ikiingia tulipata budget kama si yetu. Budget ya Governor Otoma ndio inaanza sasa hivi. Kwa hivyo nadhani kwamba Mama Yunis amepanga mikakati zake na zile amepanga zitafanyika. Kitu moja ile najua ile amefanya ni kwamba ameweka pesa ya bridge moja Madibo. Is it Madibo? Kuna shida maji ilikuwa inasumbua hiyo area. Na pia mbunge wetu Mlanya tuliongea naye anajua hiyo shida. Hiyo pesa Mama Yunis ameweka katika hiyo barabara haitoshi. Mbunge wetu Mlanya naomba pia tumia network yako tafuta pesa kitogo, kidogo kutoka juu ikuje tusaidie. Kanisa singependa kusema mengi, misa ilikuwa imeanza. Thank you for your honor, Bishop na muona hapo nyuma. Asante sana. Naomba kwamba mtu alao mimi aswa nikimbie nikazike baba ya driver wangu. Alikufa na wanazika hapa ngambo na ingekuwa ike kuwa vizuri mimi driver wangu babake anazikwa na siko huko. Asanteni na Mungu awabariki. Asanteni tano. All protocol observed. Staki kuachosha sana. Najua wengi wenu. Muna nijua kama Madam Special. Nilibadilishe jina kidogo. Niko Daktari Special Kelo. Nikiwa Director of Education. Mumias West. Nimekua nikifunza kwa hii shule na Madam Janet. Ninaomboleza. Thank you. Kanisa Takatifu. Familia. Naomboleza Jota Mujambo. Emirembe ke Janet. Kumuka esie da? Si yako na sisi pamoja? Leo ni harusi yake ya mwisho. E, kwa wageni mi naitwa Geoffrey Mulanya. Nilipoa jukumu ya kuongoza na mbale kama mjumbe wa hapa. Na niruhusu niongelesha watu wangu kidogo kinyumbani. E baba ulramba anunzi tirahulira muhae wange. Unea beri kuhuange muhae wa sana 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 sana. Na haka bana bakaba bolera. 
wajadanganya hata mahali pamoja kwao alikuwa na upendo ile ambayo hata uwezi sema nyanga la ndadi ndula campaign madibera ni njongerinza le inuma ndong mbongera ho inzala ni nyingira sana ni nyingira na parambi ingira mu jikoni mbora mbu muhaya ndahetsa kuri inzala le inuma ni abukula abaha na ramu jikoni hudeha na emwene ndi toch acha hokonya majirani ndetsa kananga mundi ingira nga mulala 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 inyumba yahetsula ai ni yesi ingira ni mbora mbu ko neba no ori nende jumuya mziro Aringoli mwana siasa bana bakende bao Lane ambo lambo manya no mulanya no rula no musuro bana bona mbu mulanya ingiranga sana yira mapeso mo ni jene dalie ngene So nona alikuwa mkristo Angekuwa mwingine munge ongea na kuona mndakire byangana Lakini ye hata hata ambo la unda khiru lakini ndavumilia So mama alikuwa mama mkristo ise kula ni hula ndakula kuhunia nali msomesi wa kanisa na libaki na maadili ya kanisa endokia mimi kujua endokia ni huyu mama ndiye alifanya nikajua SK endokia ibu yofu na hata kunyeka kwake mimi si kujua kwa na malo mengine lakini ayera na problem na kubona mbo umuita ndio sasa ndalaona sasa opara mbo kweli mtu na aluo sana makuwa asaka kawaida malo na kakuluwala na kukenda lakini hii imempeleka mbia hata mimi nishtuka so familia tuko pamoja wacha tumuombe mungu alichagua njia yake itakuwa hiyo na sisi tumemuachilia kama familia turudi kazi yetu ya hapa constituency watu wanambare na jua eh, huu mwaka serikali ilikuwa na mambo mingi sana hakuna pesa lakini tulibahatika Nilingangana kwa zile mrada ambayo nilingangana moja ni hii barabara yenu ya Buyofu kutia Mungachi. Ilikuwa imekaa miaka tano. Nilipambana tukaweka pesa na nilisema juzi hapo nyuma nikiwa matanga hapo e, kwa mama mwenzake rafiki yake. Tumewekewa pesa ngaje contractor hata jana tumeongea na ye tunataka tuhakikishe kufika mwezi wa tatu i barabara ibeni marhula na Mungachi tufunge hiyo chapter. Najua mumekuwa na usemi mwingi sana kuanzia jana kanisani hata wengine hawajanena naona Anderson ndio huyu ameingia hapa labda watakupa nafasi we umuvu vote of thanks ndio kipengele tumebakisha sasa nataka tusimame kwa heshima ya ibada hii ambayo e, Ray leader huyu Janet amekufa akiwa kazini na ni ibada ambayo inaongozwa na askofu kwa bahati nzuri askofu ameshikika na ametutumia the very reverend provost wa cathedral ya Nambale. Tusimame tafadhali heshima za Janet zikamilike kulingana na mapenzi yake na vile alihudumu kwa muda huu wote. Tuimbe wimbo changamoto ilipata familia wakasahau hata kuweka nyimbo hapa. Kwa hivyo tutaimba wimbo wa sabini na moja first stanza na ya mwisho Tuwe na brief introduction. Kanisa tumeheshimiwa na tumetajwa sana. Hata watoto wamesema mama yao alikuwa anaishi kanisani. Kosi miando cheshi bala no mwihoyo kosi mbere hamsalaba kwa Yesu. Shiri. Shiri shina shahanzi kadira. Kate miando chosi ne melo haches yalo mbere ham salaba nyasa e wahu yanza yana yesu mwanawe holwa yako iwoli alwa kata mwe likufu timbiti huminanga ire humu onya we mio Shiri Hon shina shaganzi kalira Kate miandu chosi ne milu khachesialo bireham salaba Baba Provost Achi dikon suote ambao mekuja Bishop Emeritus Mama Bishop, 
Lay Canons na Canons Water, Reverence, Mother's Union, na wapendwa wote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Babole mbe Janet ya vela menya mkanisa. Mwajonga sabole kwa ikanisa. Kwa majina na ito Evans na Mlanda. Otipi ni meokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Mchungaji ambaya mekua kiongoza Evangelist Janet. Na niko na muke. Anaeza tu kusimama kapunga mkono. Anaitwa Violet. Mimi nilikuwa napokea simu ya Janet saa za usiku. Na tunaongea dakika 30 wanawa. Mke wangu alikuwa anajua Janet akipiga saa hakuna shida, kina wa Kristo wengine huwa apigi. Na Janet alikuwa mtu wa ushauri. Na nilikuwa na muamini katika parukia hii. Janet alikuwa na siri jinsi ya kufanya kazi katika parukia hii. Na vile wengine walisema jana Janet ndiye alikuwa evangelist ambaye ni wa ukweli. Atakuambia jambo la ukweli. Wengine huwa anajificha. Janet aliniita kabla aende Nairobi. Akaniambia mchungaji nataka ukuje uniombe, nataka niende Nairobi. Hii magonjo yangu yamenishinda na ninaona niende Nairobi. Nilipofika kwa boma tuliongea. Akanipatia vitu viwili. Akaniambia padri nimesaini cheki ya ya cheki cheki leaf mbili. Ili usihangaike Christmas wa kutumia ripoti ya Christmas hata kama niko Nairobi. Na nikamwambia wewe unaenda leo baada ya wiki utakuwa umerudi unaangaika nini akaniambia padri soma nyanga ngebifuana hapa mubiri kwange kunoni mubi kulu kutuna kutuna buli abundu hata sioni ugonjwa uko wapi Na nikamwambia utapona tu utarudi na akaniuliza jambo la pili Mugulundu ebindi byo byofu bino uulire na navyo nikamwambia mimi Janet vitu ya byofu compassion mimi nimetoka kwa sababu walifanya makosa. Walichukua kitu ya kanisa, wakaenda wakarejest kwa CBO, sasa ni kitu ya dunia. Padri siwezi kuwa patron wa vitu ya vikanda ya dunia. Akaniambia oriorulamo, hiyo vitu imetuletea pressure na asante kutoka. Na nikamwambia nimetoka kabisa Janet ukienda, jua mimi nimetoka kwa hiyo vitu. Na akaniambia Lila ambao siwezi kusema. Hiyo itanisaidia tu. Akaniambia na padri tena watoto wametayarisha keki hapa. Mjukuu. Gambia mwalimu otia matibabu, okazi zie keki, vetu hulubahuri isia. Vino biosu biasi na sote so kendo kaluhu. Ali da khaba na ba khole do khobi khabi amwisho bi abwe. Na nikasema hii keki si peane tu Richard, Richard na Masi, nyinyi ndio nataka hii keki muweke, mtakuja muandikisha harusi ni wafanyie. Na wetu kuluba ulera ni baba wala mpadri ni yetu, si ya baba, si ya baba na na mama, ni yetu. So I took it that way na nikajua Janet was on the way. Alipoenda wa Kristo endokeo alinisumbua kwa simu padri orumi rewi na msombe zauli kweli alibilai na finally siku ambayo aliyekewa alienda IC ICU tulikuwa tunaenda hasoko bishop alikuwa anakuja saturday at night kuanzia saa tano, nilikosa uzingizi mpaka saa kumi na moja. nikasema nini naendelea Askofu anakuja kesho kuna nini mazuri anatuletea na tukapata ya kuwa askofu akuji na hiyo jioni Jumapili ndo nikapata simu ya kuwa Janet amepelekwa ICU We have been praying nilimuongelesha kabla aenda ICU tukaongea akasema maluale kanoni madinyo sa reverend 
Yane tuwabere nuwaja maikanisa. Ulitaka kanisa imalize kazi yake. Kuota na ulikuwa unapenda. Na ulitenda maku paka kanisa ikamaliza vizuri. Mimi siku wai ita Janet ya kuwa Janet. Nilikuwa naita Mama Janet. Nilikuwa na mpa eshima kwa sababu ya kunipa pia mimi eshima. Na tena umuru wake ulikuwa unanifanya ni nakuwa huru na ee ni kimuita kama mama mzazi. Kuna diko ni katika parukia hii. Ninaomba tu asimame. Kuja, William. Yane taliniambia nisaidie huyu. Baba, provost. Na wengine wote. Bwana yesu asifiwe. Mwami yesu yeso mbwe. Dada janeti, mwalimu janeti, ni kuhu yange nie. Kuhu, orio, kuhu mekesio, orio kuna fasi ya wabamo. Na mungu wa kujalie mema katika safari yako. Tira liange bana angabaru ili ya mokwara, ni meokoka na mpenda yesu kama mokozi wa maisha yangu. Asandeni kuja kusaidia hungo vere kuhu wange. Tuende haraka haraka wapendwa, nyuki zimetajwa. Na mimi watu wa malanga wakitaja nyuki, mubiri kwange kuyekema anga kabisa. Ngaba hata alaza hunju kiano, chochote kinaeza tendeka. Hane roja asinju hii? Oh, chatu la malanga. Ndi victim wenju hii chomba. Hara eh, MP Mulanya uichuli sama kwa kanju hii cha hola malange ngwe. Kanisa letu la angilikana. Familia ya mama Janet. Mother Zinio ni kwaya. Wageni wote bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Nataka nitambue wa mama wa Mother Zinio ambaye ni tulikuwa tunatembea na mama Janet. Tafadhali tuamuke tu na tuimbe tukutendeleza. Basi A baba bishop na mama Wasafu ambao wako hapa, wachungaji wote ambao wako hapa, hapa fuiri yue family ya Janet, na wote ambao wamekuja kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. Nataka ni msalamie katika jina la buwana buwana hasifiwe. Omwami yetombwe, amera ni lei kanan peti na nekesa, na mpenda yesu kama mwakozu wa maisha yangu. A, mama Janet, Inaweza kusema mengi juu yake. Lakini kwa sababu ya wakati, nitashukuru tu kwa kazi ambayo tumefanya na eye. Mimi nilitembea na Janet sana. Nilikuwa natoka kwangu, na kuja kumchukua hapa, kama naenda huko juu, hata kwa maundi eligo, nilikuwa naenda na eye. Kwa hivyo, nikiwa huku, alikuwa Muhubiri na mimi nikawa wambaya nafundisha. Mufu, mu, mu, muhubiri mzuri sana. Janet aliniambia mambo mengi. Na mimi nikamusaidia sana kiroho. Tulipoke, tulipokuwa tunaenda, sangine tutalala huko, sangine tutarudi. Nataka ni mshukuru mungu kwa sababu ame mchukua kamba ye bado na mchua yesu na najua namna ya ku eh, eh, tenda kazi ya bwana katika idhara ya Mother's Union. Mimi najua kwamba uh, tutapata kama Mungu oh, kama Mungu amesikia yale ambayo ame, 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 aliambia a uh, daughter in law. Oh daughter in law, uline habisikira na kufia lao ya kula amire. Onole kula Olaba ole kuhulire o, o mulimo kukwe. How successful you die inalingana na vile ambavyo uliweza wewe mwenyewe kupitia zile changamoto, kupitia vile vizuizi, na ndipo siku ikifika ulale kama Janet, 
Watoto watasema mama ametumikia malengo ya Mungu katika kizazi chake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So si kuishi tu na si bora kuishi. Kuishi bora ni kutumikia malengo ya Mungu katika kizazi chako. Nataka pia niseme kwamba hatujui kama siku ambazo tunaishi ni siku bora ama siku mbaya. Lakini ninachojua ni kwamba nyakati ambazo tunaishi ndizo nyakati zetu. Whether best or worst moment in history lakini tunaishi nyakati zetu. Na hivyo basi lazima tumuishie Mwenyezi Mungu atusaidie kutimiza malengo yake. Tunapoangalia kando katika kanisa kunazo changamoto. Tunazoangalia katika familia, family unit kunazo changamoto. Tukiangalia katika inchi ambayo tunaishi na jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki kunazo changamoto. Pembe zote ukiamuka ukilala kunayo mapya ambayo si ya kawaida ambayo unasikia. Lakini iwe wakati mgumu ama iwe wakati rahisi imependeza Mungu tuwe viongozi wakati huu. Imependeza Mungu tuishi nyakati hizi. Imependeza Mungu tufanye mapenzi yake nyakati hizi. Mungu akupe neema ya kumwishia na uishi maisha yako Umalize kama bado na kirimani ya Kristo kama vile mama Janet. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati ambapo unapitia machungu katika maisha, kama unamwamini Mwenyezi Mungu, ametuhakikishia kwamba he will not let you go down. Na ndiposa kitabu ambacho nimesoma katika utangulizi Isaia 43 mstari wa pili na watatu, umetupatia tumaini umetupatia imani kwamba unapopitia maji mengi hautakumbwa nayo the rivers will not sweep you away na maji mengi yanaweza kuwa mambo mengi ambayo unapitia katika maisha people say nowadays kwamba when you see watu wamekaa ukiona watu wamevalia ukiona watu wanacheka ndani ya mioyo zao people are going through situations and situations are going through people. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini unapopitia hayo yote Isaiah has given us a promise kwamba Mungu hata kuacha uangamie. Na hivyo basi mwaka huu unapoisha 2023 ni ombi letu kwamba tusiogope chochote. Tumekaa hapa Watu kila mtu akipewa microphone hii aongee ya kwake wanapitia mazito. Lakini utakuwa mzuri kama hautapatia shetani kibali cha uoga katika maisha yako. Na urusu Mwenyezi Mungu akupatie kibali cha ujasiri katika kupigana vita dhidi ya mwovu shetani. Na kila siku unaposimama ujikumbushe ukijiambia kwamba sitaogopa chochote nitafanya mapenzi ya Mungu katika kizazi changu watoto wa msome si tunapoomba tunaomba kwamba neema ya Mungu iwajaze pendo lake neema ya Mungu iwajaze pendo lake na muishi maisha ya kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu tusimame na tuombe wa familia wakiwa karibu watakuja ili kwamba tuombe watoto wa marehemu popote walipo wajuku waje ili tuweze kuomba
Tuombe. Tukiwa kimia katika hali ya kusimama Tumshukuru mwenyezi mungu katika mioyo yetu Kwa ajili ya maisha Ya mwinjilisti Janet Wafula Odhiambo Kila umoja wetu tukifikiri alivyokuwa kwetu Wanapokea shukrani zetu na utujalie kukumbuka huyu mpendwa wetu aliyetuacha. Katika majonzi na katika furaha tulibarikiwa kumjua na kuishi naye kwa Yesu Kristo bwana wetu. Amen. Tujalie bwana sisi tulio hai. Daima tukumbuke ya kwamba maisha ni mafupi. Kwa hiyo tusaidie ili kilasi kutufuate nyayo zako. Tukitumia vyema talanta zetu tofauti tofauti na kuishi vyema siku zetu. Maana hizi ni siku za mwisho zote. Tujaze neema ya kuweza kukabili mambo yaliyo mazito katika maisha yetu. Na kuwa makini tunapofraia yaliyo mema kwa Kristo bwana wetu. Mungu kwa mwanao Yesu Kristo aliyekufa msalabani umekila mauti kwa ajili yetu kupitia kwa kufa na kufufuka kwake umetudirishia uzima wa milele tuwakumbuka wale waliofariki katika imani ya Yesu na kuzikwa pamoja naye kwa matumaini ya kufuka tena e Mungu wa walio hai na waliokufa wale waliokuamini kwa imani hapa duniani milele wakutifu wewe katika furaha ya mbinguni Tuomba haya katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu. Mungu mwenye Mungu wa faraja zote katika upendo wako usio koma na rehema zako kwetu sisi. Wageuza giza la mauti kuwa pambazuko la maisha mapya. Wahurumie watu wako hasa familia hii ya dada yetu Janet katika huzuni zao. Uwe kimbilio letu na nguvu zetu. Ilu tuinue kutoka giza la majonzi haya hadi katika amani na nuru ya kuwepo kwako. Manao Yesu Kristo kwa kufa kwake kwa ajili yetu alishinda mauti kwa kufufuka tena kutoka kwa wafu aliturudishia uhai basi utujalie twende kwa ujasiri tunapokutana naye na baada ya maisha haya duniani kuisha tukaunganishwe na, ma, na mapenzi wetu katika nchi ambayo hakutakuwa na kifo tena wala huzuni na ambako kila chozi litafutwa kupitia kwa mshindi wetu Yesu Kristo Janet Wafula Odhiambo Muke wa Rogers Mama ya Kevina Richard Grace na Deborah Mudumu wa Mungu katika mwili wa Kristo Leirida Mama katika kitengo cha Mothers Union. Mweka hazina rafiki jirani na mulezi wa wengi. Malaika wa Mungu akuongoze kufika paradiso. Mashahidi wa imani waje kukupokea na kukupeleka katika muji mtakatifu Yerusalemu mpya ya milele. Kwaya ya malaika wakukaribisha mahali ambapo Lazaro si maskini tena. Janet Wafula. 
uwe na pumziko ya milele kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu Asante tutapeana nafasi sasa familia kama kuna kile walisahau au mwili ulikuwa haujafunikwa katika njia inayowapendeza tunamalizia tu hapa tukibeba huu mwili tukifika kwa kaburi sasa mtupe tu nafasi tusike tafadhali tutoe maua kwaya mtupatie nyimbo za mfililizo watu washukuru Mungu kwa njia ya sadaka Tushukuru Mungu kwa maisha ya Janet kupitia sadaka ambazo tuko nazo. Hapa ni familia tu peke yake tunahitaji wakishamaliza tena watafunika. Vitengo vya sadaka visambaye uwanja huu wote tafadhali. Simameni Ray Leaders and Evangelist you can position yourselves karibu na watu. Simameni tu hakuna haja ya kuweka kwa viti. Ni nyinyi tu ndio viti. Shikeni tu hizo vitu za sadaka. Wimbo kwaya tafadhali kwaya Kitu achana nayo sio mwenyewe ni kitu Tusimame tafadhali tushuhudie tushuhudie nafasi hii ya kutoa sadaka zetu tushuhudie nafasi ya kutoa sadaka zetu ikiwa karibu Tumeona huu mwili kuanzia jana leo the whole day kwa hivyo nafasi yetu sisi kuona mwili imeisha ni immediate family members ndio tumeruhusu wawe hapa. Aya wacha tuombe, tuombe sataka na wale ambao wanaenda kupepa mwili wa Janet. Kila tusimame si zote na kila kitu iwe imesimama kidogo. Watu wa net msimame kidogo. Watu wa net msimame kitoko familia. Wacha tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo nataka nikushukuru mjana huu Mungu ni sema ni asante. Asante kwa sadaka ambayo imetolewa kufanya kazi kwa matanga ya mama Janet. Waja uibariki na uitakaze wale ambao wametoa waja ota, wa, waja uabariki mifuko zao. Nataka kuombea wale ambao wanaenda kupepa mwili wa Janet, baba uwe pamoja nao, usimame pamoja nao. Tukitoka mahali hapa tukienda Mwenyezi Mungu uwe pamoja nasi. Nataka kuombea E, provost ambaye ametumwa na baba askofu kwa kaza ambaye amefanya mali hapa na hiyo nena ambaye ametoa mali hapa bwana waja lituchenge katika mioyo zetu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mkombozi wetu Amen. Msafara uendelee Msafara wa neti endeleeni endeleeni kwaya pia endeleeni Oscar fanye hiyo. Reverend Oscar King ya Provost. Chairman alikuwa anataka kumbeba. Sababu tunaenda kuna tunatuku kabisa bisha. Sawa, anda kuraki kama. Ambo huko mbele ya moto kapu barabara. Kena kwa dogo la junction ya Ria. Eh, kama to. Au sana junction ya. Ah. Lakini mbona? Mama, I don't need you more. Rich, I 
unahitajika Kijana ya mama Richard unahitajika hapa itaba kumbe maua Ingono ino irinde discipline yayo irwe bindi sira habo wundi ni wai baberesa tafadhali songa karibu Kuja ujiunge na dada zako ufanyiwe heshima ambayo inastahili kuambatana na imani ya mama mzazi Wale wako na namba ya Richard mnaenda mkampigia aje tuhusike na yeye katika huu msafara tafadhali Oh, 
Asante sana tunashukuru sasa wenzetu eh, driver wanao tuongoza tafadhali rain leader sana evangelist punguzeni tu maua alafu mbebe msalaba hiyo tuingie ndani
Kwa haya nyinyi tunaona mtafikaje huko? Pole pole tu ndio. Ah mtako mwendo wa mbombe la wembe ni benki somo viri. makao mengi kama isingekuwa hivyo ningelikisha waambieni sasa nakwenda kuatarisheni nafasi na nikienda kuatarisheni nafasi nitarudi na kuachukueni kwangu ili nanyi mwe pale nilipo mimi mwishinge ingawa yomwani nende ulichangazo Saidiana na hawa wapendwa. Ili tupate vijana wa kiume ambao wako na nguvu nzuri. Tuombe. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa kwemo kwako kaburini umefanya makaburi yote ya waumini kuwa matakatifu. Tuomba kwamba mwili wa Janet Odhiambo ulale aridhini kwa amani na fuke pamoja nawe kutia kwa nguvu za roho
Kisha nikasikia sauti kutoka mbinguni ikisema andika heri watu ambao tangu sasa wanakufa wakiwa wameungana na Bwana. Na hero wasema naam watapumzika kutoka tabu zao. Maana matunda ya jasho dao yatawafuata. Hivyo basi tukimwamini Mungu atupae neema bila kiasi kadha wangu. Ni utakatifu. Kupitia kwake yeye Yesu Kristo tukabidhi roho ya dada yetu Janet Ujambo Akula aliyetuacha katika mikono yake ya milele ili amchukue nasi tunarudisha mwili wake ardhini yanga yobute mwili omami unami Ataka yageuza mwili wetu usio dumu ili uweze kufufuliwa kama mwili wake mtakatifu kulingana na uwezo wake mkuu aliyotumia kwa Kristo alipomfufua kutoka kwa wafu na akamketisha mkono wa kuume juu ya amri zote na mamlaka uwezo na milki milele na milele Amen Dio maana wako mbele ya kiti cha enzi cha Mungu mtumikia Mungu mchana na usiku katika hekalu lake Naye akitie juu ya kiti cha enzi atatandaza hema lake juu yao kuwalinda. Hawataona tena nja wala chiu. Jua wala joto kali halitawachoma tena. Kwa sababu mwanakondoo aliye katikati ya kiti cha enzi atakuwa mchungaji wao. Naye atawaongoza kwenye chemichemi za maji ya uhai. Naye Mungu atayafuta machozi yote machoni mwao kama mwokozi wetu alivyotufundisha tuna ujasiri wa kuomba jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako uje utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo chakula chetu kila siku usame makosa yetu kama nasi tutapata wimbo na wafamilia waje waleke Donc 
kando kidogo tupeane nafasi mashini hizi zitoke tafadhali mtupe nyimbo Let's go. 
biashara ya msalaba huu na imani kuwa mtumishi wako Janet atafufuliwa pamoja nawe siku ya kuja kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kwa imani hiyo tasimika msalaba huu maua wa MU mtusaidie waweke maua endelea na wimbo wimbo Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki na kuwalinda. Na kutoka kwa makaburi haya na kuingia kwa nyumba. Mwenyezi Mungu awaangalie kwa wema na kuwafadhili. Tunapoanza maisha bila mama, bila ya nyanya, bila ya aji. Mwenyezi Mungu awaonyeshe wema wake na kuwapa amani. Tunapoanza maisha haya mapya. Baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu baba mwana mtu mtakatifu aikae kwenu sasa hata ndio